like I do right now. Don't say you're on the run to the other side, my love. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we live.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to CGL, where 16 teams have entered, but now we are down to our final two here in the NAPC Open Tier. My name is Dextron. I am joined by the lovely Tryhard Ray. Man, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I have been eagerly awaiting the conclusion of the NAPC Open Tier. It's been our most competitive division. We started with 40 plus teams. We're down to the top two. So let's take you to that bracket and see how we've come along the journey. We have Bonsai Buddies going against YSL and they have played each other two times in the season. Neither were during the regular season. One was during the midseason tournament where YSL got the victory. And as you can see on the screen, Bonsai Buddies got their revenge in the winner's finals. So both teams have a lot on the line. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you just look at how this bracket has kind of gone here for the Bonsai Buddies. Sweeps in their first two games and then map or five map series in the last two to get to this point here. YSL, they dropped down, but immediately got a sweep to put themselves back here. So like you already mentioned, Bonsai Buddies got that revenge for the midseason tournament there in the winner's finals. YSL now looking for some revenge of their own. Uh, as this is going to be an amazing game between these two exciting teams. Uh, we've actually had an opportunity. Some people have uh, been posting some preds on the website. So uh, we can go ahead and take a look at what people are thinking. Uh, keep in mind, Bonsai Buddies are the logo with the, the monkey with the glasses. So a lot of people are favoring YSL 62.5%. I, mean, I feel like this is an either way series. I have a 4-3 for YSL. So I, I think this is definitely going the distance and either team can pull it off in the end. End. I have a 4-3 as well, but I will not mention what team I decide to go with here, so I don't cast or curse them. But hey, we've been talking about the teams here a little bit. Why don't we introduce you to them, starting with the Winter Finals champions, the Bonsai Buddies. Uh, both of these teams are loaded with Tier 2 talent. Bonsai Buddies, they got Suguru, Zomba, Zebra, Otters, and Kai. So lots of talent that play in Collegiate and and uh, uh you know open division and contenders a lot of great players yeah absolutely and i mean they got that revenge game there in the winner's final like i kind of mentioned and now they're looking to carry that momentum here but they've been off for a little bit here and i just want to see how they kind of respond here in this first game or first map but while we talked about bonsai buddies why don't we introduce you to their opponents for the night in ysl yeah, as we have Azraf Wallflower, Infected, Magic Mateball, and Z. As I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys recognize all these names on both teams. Magic Mateball coming off a Team Canada run in the World Cup. And just, I mean, there's so many names across both these matchups. This is why I've been just eagerly awaiting casting this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. And YSL is one of those teams that is actually stacked and has a full roster as well. A lot of subs. So we can see a lot of people come in and out throughout the night, depending on what map we are playing and just how everyone is kind of doing there. So I kind of expect to see a lot of subs from them here tonight. But Ray, I mean, hey, we these two teams have made it all the way this far. Four maps is all they need to do to crown themselves champions. And we know where we're heading for our first one. Yeah, I believe because they were waiting in the grand finals, this was the pick of the Bonsai Buddies, and we are headed to Ilio, so expect a lot of dive action coming out from both of these teams, as that's the, comp the composition that Bonsai Buddies feel most confident in going up against YSL. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I recognize Zebra and Suguru from the Bonsai Buddies. I know Zebra is a menace on the Doomfist. And right now, Doomfist comps might be some of the scariest comps to go into if you struggle to get rid of the Doomfist. Yeah, it, it's going to be just hyper-focused, high-impact, high-speed gameplay. And I'm excited to get this started. Infected will be playing the tank for the side of YSL. He is known for being an extremely talented tier two tank, loves to play that Winston and uh, can play the Doomfist very well as well, but he is definitely better known for the Winston. So I'm excited to possibly see the Winston going up against the Doomfist. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you had a chance to actually cast YSL in the Losers Finals. I mean, they they swept, I believe it was Yikes there, yeah. and they really didn't look like they were having a problem with them at all there. Do you think they're going to be able to carry that momentum from that sweep there into the Grand Finals here? I definitely think it's possible. We did see that Bonsai Buddies, you know, went a full five maps against them in the Winners Semifinals. And I do think YSL, after losing to Bonsai Buddies in the Winners Finals, they kind of, you know, were a little upset and wanted to just get things back on track and come get their revenge so that's the one thing i'd be a little you know cautionary if i was bonsai buddies is ysl is motivated and ready to take their revenge yeah but you know ysl looking for that revenge bonsai buddies though they got here through the winners finals yep. they might have all the momentum in the world maybe a chip on their shoulder as well what do you think they need to do really to keep that momentum up into to start the series I think the one thing their roster has been very consistent. They don't have a bunch of subs and a bunch of players on their team. It has been this solid five. I think they have one sub on their team. So it has mostly been this five working together. I think the chemistry between these five working together throughout the entire season, being on the same page is going to be the key to their success, especially on a map like Ilias where dive is just reliant on everyone diving the same targets at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. And that was something that we kind of brought up during when we were showing off the teams. YSL, I think, has a whole nother team on the bench. And like you said, Bonsai Buddies really only has one. So if we see YSL making a lot of subs here through the night, it might take them a team fight or two to, you know, get all in sync. Well, Bonsai Buddies will already be there, in my opinion. So it's going to be a really interesting thing to see throughout the night if YSL makes those subs when they need to. And if it's a per map basis. Yeah, it's going to depend a lot. I mean, I think the thing is, as I mentioned, the chemistry and just all these players playing together for Bonsai Buddies gives them a big advantage when it comes to, uh, you know, when things hit against the wall that they're used to playing together that much. Uh, for, for YSL, I think their talent is what carries them a lot of the time. Their support line with Z and Magic Mateball is incredibly talented. Their, their roster is stacked with contenders' talent. But... Can the talent bring them far enough or will the just the chemistry at Bonsai Buddies bring them the championship? Absolutely, but it looks like we are starting to load into the map here. We looks like we're going to be starting here on Lighthouse. Now, Lighthouse, in my opinion, yeah, you talked about it being a very heavily dived map, but if you can bunker down on the point and if you have a good team team composition and just trust in your team, sometimes it's very hard to get that team off. We're going to have to see what these teams are electing to go with. As you mentioned, Zebra does like that Doomfist. We'll have to see if they are electing to go with that. And we are starting out on that. And as it sits, YSL is looking to bunker down just a little bit. They are looking to play that Orisa. And I kind of like the Orisa in the matchup with that Doomfist. You have those Javelins that can affect, you know, every time you try and go in for a dive if you're Zebra. And you can cause, you know, not to be CC'd around a whole bunch because you have that Fortify that won't allow you to get punched around like that so i think it's a really if you're not going to match the doom i think this is the the great opposite way to go about it yeah and i i agree with you there but i watched over the the losers finals as well and in fact it only played orissa one time on i or on uh, blizzard world and it was mostly a desperation pick we never saw it again from them here so like you said it's probably a really good pick into this doomfist but they need to uh, apply a lot of pressure onto it as well couldn't agree more. Oh, Dude, off that is... the back, Mateball with the whip shot. That is not how you want to start off a match right here. Magic Mateball, though, getting a lot of good plays there. Wildflower will be able to find Suguru. And right now, I mean, Infected just kind of chilling out on point as YSL will cap it first. Yeah, as... YSL do not want to give Bonsai Buddies any time to breathe. They are getting aggressive, but they, they have regrouped. You're going to have to back up and get back with your team if you're YSL. Yeah, but again, you kind of have, if you're Bonsai Buddies, you need to find some way to get into that one there. Yeah, you have Zebra right there that will be able to get into that back line as well. But again, you have characters like Tracer and uh, Soldier there for YSL that can kind of deal with the with the Doomfist without having to get really, or without having to rely on your Orisa. Yeah, as we see a little tracer duel coming out from Wallflower. Already has the pulse bomb on target, so Bonsai, but he's got to be very careful, but he's down. 
and so is Magic Mateful. This is exactly what the Bonsai Buddies needed to retake this point. Azurf, Azurf the Wolf find Zomba right there, and now Infected might try to stall at this point a little bit, but not going to be able to get back in time, and Zebra, though, will eventually be able to take him there as Bonsai Buddies gets the flip. Yeah, that's what you're looking for for a Bonsai Buddy. Sugu, between your Doomfist and your Tracer, being able to buy him space to look for those rail shots, and he's able to come through. As YSL's going to have a slight ult advantage coming into this next fight, given how dominant their first couple fights went. So uh, Bonsai Buddies might want to get aggressive with some of these ults. I agree with you there, but Zamba finding Wallflower out early is huge for them. Zebra doing enough there to stun two people, but not going to be able to find the kills there. And now Bonzi Buddies kind of can just play a little bit more conservatively right now. YSL not really going to engage without the Tracer, but Infected finds one with the spin. The, the, the Meteor Strike comes out there from Zebra, will not find one there, but Suguru does find Azrough with the Disrupting Shot. And now a player trade out each way. Magic Maple, though, will make sure they have the advantage here at the moment. The Consumer Rush coming out here from Otters, a nice javelin there by Infected, and the Consumer Rush also coming out from Z. Infected and will find Kai there and YSL gonna be able to flip the point. Yeah, you basically trade three ultimates for two if you're YSL, so I guess you will take that. You're going to have to be extremely careful when you're walking into double DPS ultimates plus a sound barrier. This fight is just in pure pick form for Bonsai to just take it off and flip this point. Pulse Bomb coming out will stick to a tree and not find any kills there, but you do see Zebra focus in there on Magic Mate Ball. Azra pops the overclock, will find Kai, trade out each way now, Suguru going to be able to find one, make it two there, with the overclock on the Wallflower, and Wa Bonzi Buddy looking like they're going to be able to retake this point right now, Suguru with three in this fight alone, Zebra will take the last one. Sugu is coming through big time for Bonsai Buddies on this sojourn. And the big thing is you're able to keep the sound barrier, Kai, because Infected is going to have this terror surge, but you can just completely negate it with the sound barrier. So pretty much you're in an even stale fight. Uh, it's going to be uh, trying to find these aggressive picks. Now I'm looking at these sojourns, Sugu versus Azra, trying to find the rail shots. Beat coming out very early from, from Bonzi. They want to try to play very aggressively into this lineup right now. In fact, though, might just have a free Terror Surge at the moment if they play it aggressively. But you just see Zebra there harassing the entirety of YSL. Terror Surge coming out here from Infected. Will not find anyone there. So they're able to play around course. Otters very low at the moment. Able to get themselves out of danger just for the moment. However, they're going to be able to keep themselves alive. Bonzi Buddy's doing a good job here. Just lasting through this fight. Sugu going to be able to find Azra up there. Zebra still just harassing Magic Maple right there. And now focusing a little bit just on the support support line as it infected heads the point. Yeah, as these support ultimates are getting so close for YSL, if they can build up to them, they might have an opportunity to flip this point, but infected is getting so low on the point. Rally to rally and continue rush coming out here from both sides. Wallflower still does have a pulse bomb right here, looking to maybe get the stick there on a Sugu, but they're gonna hold onto it here for a moment. YSL needs to find an early pick and they find Sugu. That's the exact pick they really need to get there. Kai though finding Azure, but the point flips. Yeah, you gotta find more picks if you're YSL. If you can continue these staggers, you're going to be in a really good position with 81% on the clock. Can they find the, the picks they need? B coming out here from Kai. They want to try to play aggressively into this one here. You saw Zebra immediately dive in right after. They're gonna be able to find Magic Mateball there. That's a huge pick off for Bonzi. That gets rid of a lot of the healing there for YSL. Wallflower gets taken out by the overclock. Suguru just popping off right now. Make it two for the soldiers. Can they find a third? They will be able to find a third. Point does flip back over in their control. Will YSL be able to get back? I don't think they will be able to. Magic Maple, one millisecond too late. Yeah, unfortunately for Wallflower, unable to find a pulse bomb in that final fight. Sugru coming through time and time again on that Sojourn when their team needed it the most. Incredible plays coming out from Bonsai Buddies, all things considered. I've been very impressed with these DPS from Bonsai Buddies. Zomba's done a great job in taking that Tracer duel with Wallflower, and Sugu's just had the pop-off moments. As we now move in to Ruins, which I think is going to be a lot more conducive to this Sigma composition that we see YSL highlighting. So the, the, the big thing for Zebra is you're going to have to be very careful. You have to take these dives wisely because that accretion rock can just be so deadly if you allow Infected to get that off on you. Yeah, absolutely, but I don't really think the Orisa pick worked for them really well there on Lighthouse. Zebra was still just able to just move around freely into that backline. That was the biggest problem there for YSL. And I do I do agree with you. I think the, the Sigma pick is a little bit better for uh, YSL here if they want to try to shut down Zebra. As we see Infected trying to find the damage and the picks needed to try and make something happen. Magic Meatball just doing a little bit of spy checking onto Zomba. 
One member of Bonzi Buddy is holding on to point right now. I believe it is Zomba just trying to just contest it while they wait for their team to come back in fully healed up. Not going to be able to. YSL will take point first. Still, no one has fallen yet. Still looking for the first pick of this one. Wallflower, though, is definitely trying to focus in on Zomba Infected. Just trying to throw those rocks at anyone they can. But still, no one found out yet. But a nice team play there. We'll find Infected going to the spawn first here. And look at what that does to YSL. They're all trying to get back. But the kills are just all going Bonzi. As that was a big boop coming out from Kai, but as you say that two have come at the flip for YSL, they might be able to turn this around if they just stay patient and regroup as a team. And they get the flip there, but again, YSL gonna have that advantage with their tank and one support coming back a little bit faster than uh, Bonzi's two fallen members right now. And Zamba again, just kind of on contest duty right now, very low on health. Wallflower doing a good job trying to contest them. Zebra diving in, will be able to get themselves out of this one. Pulse bomb coming out. Does not stick on anyone there, but does damage Wallflower a decent amount now. Wallflower has a pulse bump of their own, but just look at that kill feed. It's all going YSL's way. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of Azra finding those exiting picks, allowing YSL to get back that much easier. You don't even have to commit any ultimates into that fight, and Zombo used that pulse bomb, so uh, the, the ultimate economy now shifts in the favor of YSL, as now they're with this Sigma composition, being able to take these aggressive defensive positions is going to be that much better trying to go up against this aggressive dive that Zebra's trying to play on this Doomfist. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you mentioned YSL has all these ultimates and they have to use any of that last fight. But Sugu finding Azrov out early. Otter's going to use the Katsuna Rush to get themselves in. And a nice play there by Zima trying to get the, the Infected off that high ground. And uh, Ant Major's coming out there from Z Man. The. Sir, the <laughs> the flux coming out there from Infection, but they got punched out of it. A huge play there by Zebra. Pulse coming out here from Bonzi as they realize this is a very important fight. So there's a lot of ultimates. Basically, all the ultimates that Bonzi had invested in this one. Z will eventually fall there. Zebra taking them to the grave, but still, Bonzi Buddy is still not able to flip the point. Yeah, they, they lack the damage to finish off these kills, but they will get infected. Extremely only goes down. They get infected, but at what cost? They lose two members and Zebra make it three with Zomba falling. Kai, not good either. They're going to be able to get out here. Otters, though, going to be able to find Magic Maple, but still the support's being harassed here by Wallflower. Yeah, it seems Wallflower said, I had enough. I know I died with Pulse Bomb on that last map, but I'm going to carry my team to victory as he's barely going to escape with his life. Yeah, and this could be final fight territory right here if you're Bonzi, but looks like YSL gonna let them get up about halfway on that cap before they recontest on it. And now they're doing a good job focusing a little bit on Zebra here, but again, Zomba has his pulse bomb ready to go. You're looking to get the stick onto someone. Is it gonna be infected? They recall there to keep themselves alive. Still focusing a lot on Wallflower, but Sugru coming in clutch again, finds Wallflower there, and now they flip the point in their control. YSL again trying to back out before losing any more members. Who else but Sugu to come through big time for Bonsai Buddies? The Pulse Bomb finds nothing, but Sugu's able to clean up the kills. Yeah, absolutely. Sugu, when they needed something to go their way, Sugu has normally been the one to find that kill. And now they're cleaning it up. Zebra will take care of Wallflower there. And just look at the ultimates right now. Pretty even across the board, but YSL, in my opinion, will have a little bit of an advantage coming back into the next fight. Yeah, they're just playing patient. I mean, Bonsai Buddy's going to have to win two clean fights in a row while YSL's playing it patiently, coming back into this fight with so many ultimates to commit into here because they only need to win one team fight to bring this home. And Wallflower can really open things up with a big pulse bomb. Katsuna Rush coming out here from Otters again. Bonzi wants to play a little bit aggressive. We saw this on the last point as well. And it is doing a good job forcing YSL back. They don't want to re-engage too far. The Flux coming out here from Infected. Uh, Meteor Strike coming out here from Zebra. Rally coming out from Magic Maple. Sugu, though, finds the first pick again. Zebra will find Azra up there. And now Bonzi just trying to clean up this team fight without losing anyone. They did draw out almost every single ultimate from Bonsai Buddies. You're going to have your two DPS ultimates coming into this next fight. While YSL will have the same thing, but they're going to have the ability to throw in this Ant Matrix from Z. This is where things are going to get a little rough. Pulse Bomb stuck there on Azra, though. A huge pick early, and no one for YSL able to get the point. Bonzi Buddies will take will take Elios into. Oh man, not a C9 to start things off. Not very good for YSL is Bonzi Buddies taking a huge statement in this first map. Be like, listen, we beat you in winners finals. We're the better team, and we're gonna start things off right. I mean, both maps extremely close, but when clutch time came, when the rubber needed to meet the road, in came Bonsai Buddies, in came Sugu with big time picks, and big reason why they're up 1-0 in the series. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I I feel like if Sugu does not get those picks, especially on Ruins there, we are heading into well. And I think just based off how we saw those two teams play in that map, I feel like YSL would have a little bit of the advantage going in there. Yeah, the dive looked very good for Bonzi Buddies, but on that second point, it seemed like with YSL going over to that Sigma comp, they were able to slow it down a little bit and kind of stop Zebra from doing whatever they wanted. Yeah, I agree. The Sigma composition was definitely helpful. I think it was a well first picked map for Bonsai Buddies, uh, given the composition they like to play with this Doom Fist. I think that's going to be a big key going forward in the series are what maps these team elect to take us to. We have that second map pick coming in from YSL and they have chosen to take us to Blizzard World. And an interesting choice here. We saw them play Blizzard World. You saw them play Blizzard World in the Losers Finals, but that wasn't their map choice. They're bringing us here for a reason. I would not be surprised if it's because of their performance on Blizzard World in the Losers Final. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, the Blizzard World was actually an extremely close map. I believe they capped in overtime, and then the other team had the most egregious C9 that I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, and it, it was an insane match, but... Very excited to see. Uh, it was a very good map for for YSL, so uh, it's no surprise they want to take us here. Uh, expect more of this Sigma composition that we saw on Ruins out of YSL. The question is, what are Bonsai Buddies going to look to do? Do they want to continue to play this Doomfist? I mean, Blizzard World not normally known for being a Doomfist style map. If you are going to play a dive variant, this is where you normally pull out that Diva or the Winston if you're going that direction. Yeah, that's going to be a really interesting thing to see throughout this entire series because I feel like YSL, if they're picking the map, they're going to try to go away from them, from any map that Doomfist can find a lot of value on. But at the same time, I feel like Zebra might be one of those tanks that says, I'm going to force a Doomfist here for one or two lives and figure out if I can make it work here and then maybe swap over to a Sigma or like you said, those, those other dive tanks like the D.Va, like the Winston. But I still think we will, I truly expect to see them stick with the Doomfist. Only time will tell as we will be getting as loaded up into the lobby right now. 1-0 Bonsai Buddies start and jump out to an early lead. Can YSL counter punch in the series and bring us to a 1-1 series? Or will the Bonsai Buddies continue the momentum they've built up and continue? I mean, keep in mind, this is a first to four. We're grand finals, so this is just getting to heat up. We're like on, we're like simmering on low heat right now. We haven't turned up yet. Yeah, YSL, I mean, they're probably not happy with the performance on the first map there, but even if they lose this map here, their backs aren't against the wall, but they want. I want to see a little bit of improvement out of them. We saw a little bit of improvement in going from uh, Lighthouse to Ruins. I feel like them picking this map and what I watched from the Losers Finals, they did very good good on this map yeah it was very close but it consistently ysl in my opinion is a it, it was very good here on uh blizzard world i always say when we're in these series that are first to three that it is uh almost imminent for teams to not go down o2 but in a first to four series it, it's not as bad you have a lot more time and a lot more maps to make something happen uh but i still think it's going to be very for the confidence of ysl to tie the series up it's going to be a big deal as bonsai buddies they're going to continue to play this doomfist composition Interestingly enough, they're going to have Otters on the Life Weaver and Kai go over to this Mercy. You know, I don't I don't hate the picks. I actually really like him because if Zebra goes a little bit too far, Otters can kind of save him there, pull him back to the safety of their team. And the healing that the Life Weaver can do from a great distance is just great for them right now. And Zebra now has the opportunity here in the back line to try to do a lot, disrupt them a lot, allow their DPS in there to find some damage, find some kills. Yeah, the, the Mercy just seems a little perplexing. I guess you're pocketing Sugu and hoping to allow him to really pop off and find these rail shots even easier. I mean, that might be the case, but considering how good Sugu did on Elios, I, I think that's a good pick here. But Wallflower going to be able to find Zamba out early. And let's see what happens here, especially with Kai now falling. I feel like now Bonzi might, in the spawn, make some changes here because it seems like Sugu also dying here. I don't think that was... Uh, I think that was my choice there. I mean, will they though? They're coming up on the Tree of Life and Valk. They might just look, be like, hey, uh, we're coming up on five ultimates into this fight. We might be able to use all five of them to net us this point. Uh, Cause they've been playing extremely aggressive, but and because of that, 
they've netted a lot a lot of ult charge as this is going to be a crazy ult fest coming this next fight uh it, it's really going to come down to aggression who gets who, who just sets themselves up to get aggressive with these ults Honestly, I'm watching out for Wallflower. I mean, the Pulse Bomb onto either of the two supports, there's nothing that can save him, but Sugu starts it off with finding Azruf there. Zebra will find Z-Man, and it's all starting to go downhill now for YSL. Pulse Bomb coming out there from Zaba won't be needed as Zebra just cleaning up this fight. Sugu taking care of Wallflower and Zamba taking care of Infected. And an ultimate heavy fight that we thought we'd kind of see there. I mean, yeah, four ultimates were used, but I don't feel like that was as many as we thought. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when Sugu gets three with the overclock, YSL's not going to commit any more than they have to. And Bonsai is like, look, we already won the fight with just these two ultimates. No reason to use any more. So uh, this is just the power of Sugu. There's not much more we could say. Just continuing to find these real shots time and time again as YSL is being for they're trying to force their way up. But Bonsai buddies are being aggressive. They want to get themselves past this corner because this is such a good defensive position for YSL to hold. Val coming out here from Kai, gonna be responding here from the for the damage from Z right now. As we're trying to get whatever damage they can through that Ant Matrix. Really no one falling yet. The rally now coming out from Magic Maple to keep themselves alive for the most part here. And still no one necessarily falling yet in this fight, but I feel like Bonzi Buddies may have forgot about something. As this is so strange, the sides have basically swapped. YSL looks like the attacking team as Bonsai Buddies are trying to find their way in. And you have to consider YSL has used two ultimates already in this fight and really got nothing. And Sugu again starts off a fight with a huge kill there on to Z. There goes a lot of the healing. The Tree of Life coming out here from Otter. Same thing with the Meteor Strike. Zebra though will find Azrop. Otters will eventually find Infected there with some help from the rest of their friends. And Zaba cleaning up the fight there with Magic Mayfall going back to the spawn. Uh, finally able to get this corner for Bonsai. I mean, you will take using, you know, two, three ultimates in that series as Wallflower is now going to make a swap over to this Genji, abandoning the Tracer, which I'm very curious to see how that's going to affect things. I mean, the dash does a great job of finishing off low value targets. Maybe YSL feels like they're able to get so many of these targets low, but they're not able to finish the job. And the Genji is going to help them with that. Overclock coming out here from Azrof. They immediately find Sugu to get stuff started. You're looking for more, but getting rid of Sugu, that's kind of been their Achilles heel this entire series so far. They find Otters just as a little cherry on top. Zamba gets the stick, but they, the immortality there field from Z able to keep them alive. I mean, Azra finally comes through on the Sojourn. Uh, the one thing they're going to have to be very worried about coming this next fight is Sugu has an overclock. If I'm infected, I am looking to use this flux specifically on Sugu and limit the amount of value he gets out of this overclock because he has just been insane every time he pops it. Yeah, but you have to watch out for otters pulling them out of it and being able to find a lot of value. But Sugu already finding Azrop, getting some revenge for when they pop their overclock. The Valkyrie coming out here from Kai. Sugu still looking for some damage here, some kills. The overclock coming out. They're being pressured out by Wallflower. The grasp coming out there from otters to get them into a little more favorable position. But the, the ultimate comes and goes there. Really no kills. But hey, Bonzi Buddies now continue to push this carp a little bit more. Flux coming out here from Infected. They will find Sugu off that one there. The damage coming out from Z as as well, forcing Bonzi buddies completely back. Uh, as they got to get this pick on Deceiver, they cannot allow him to get out as Zomba is putting a lot of pressure onto that point so they can't afford to chase these kills because they they risk letting a C9 happen. For Bonsai buddies, I think this Tree of Life is going to be the, the, the an extremely important ultimate coming to this next fight, going to allow them to really brawl things out and play a little bit more close quarters than what they normally could. Uh, but Wallflower is going to have this blade. Zamba tries to get the Pulse Bomb stick there on to Z-Man, but Z-Man notices that takes Zamba out of the fight instead. And you talked about the blade coming out here from Wallflower. I think Otters holds on to the tree until that blade pops out. I think it could be just a game of chicken. Who's going to pop which ult first? But it's not going to matter right now because Zebra's been sent back to the spawn doors. Same thing with Sugwin. If your Bonzi buddies here, you are resetting. Less than 30 seconds left to go. You're running out of time. Yeah, as the ult advantage is going to be slightly in the favor of YSL, uh, the rally. You should be able to build up to this overclock for Azra in the middle of this fight. And I think that will probably ultimately be the cherry on top, that win condition. YSL's looking to slam this door in Bonsai's face. 
Don't have to worry about a railgun shot coming from Sugu now as I swap over to the Genji here. Each team kind of waiting for the other to pop an ultimate right now. Kai will be the first one here popping the Valkyrie, just trying to make sure their team is supported throughout this fight. They're doing a good job pushing the car right now, but now YSL gets back to it. Still, each team, in my opinion, smartly holding on to ultimates right now. The tree comes out to keep Otters alive. Otters, though, will eventually be taken out there by the blade from Wallflower, but I think they did a good enough job making sure the blade will find no one else infected. Will find Sugu, Magic Mayfall finds Zomba, and YSL looking to end this round here and now, and that's exactly what they're going to do. We talked about the possible game of chicken as they just said, no, I'm going to pop uh, Zomba. I'm just going to pop this blade. I don't care about your tree. I'm just going to slice and dice and kill you through it. And in the meantime, because you're trapped in this room, you can't heal your team. Uh, so, I mean, overall, very well played. And then the rest of their team is able to clean up the kills. This is a really nice win condition spot for this map to be in for YSL trying to tie the series back up. Not allowing to cap them that second point is got to be feeling really good if you're YSL. Yeah, absolutely. And again, YSL, I felt like they dealt with the, the Doomfist of Zebra there pretty well throughout that entire map there. I mean, we saw them get a couple picks here and there, but they were off of... Uh, they're off or just domino affecting picks when Sugu or Zamba would find an early pick and then Z Zebra be right there to kind of clean up one. I, I really feel like they are figuring out how to slow down Zebra especially because once you slow down Zebra, I mean, Sugu and Zamba cannot do everything for their team. The, the Doomfist needs to be able to make some noise. Yeah, pardon me, I meant Wallflower on that Genji with the blade, not Zomba. My <laughs> apologies. As uh, we now move to this attack coming out from YSL, trying to tie up the series. These teams have decided, all right, we get it. The Genji was pretty good. We're going to match you now, Suguru, uh, which is interesting because Suguru was the one who was opening things up on the Sojourn. Now Zomba is going to be playing that. And now they bring the the Ana into play for Otters, which I think is going to be uh, really good if you can find big antinates because it's only going to further help this dive that Zebra and Bonsai Buddies are playing. But what do you think about Kai still coming out here on the Mercy? Yeah, they were able to do a lot last map or last round as well. But the Antinade misses everyone because Zebra, I think, punches three people out of it there. That's not how they wanted to start. Yeah, and that's going to buy a lot of space for YSL to push up. So you got to be very careful if your Bonsai Buddies YSL are exactly where they want to be. Uh, but that is not where Wallflower wants to be. It doesn't matter who's playing the soldier in here for Bonzi Buddies. They will always open up a fight. Zamba doing it here. They might do it again onto Infection. That's exactly what happens there. YSL, though, Azrof will be able to find Zamba there. The Rez coming out to make sure they get right back in this fight. So that, you know, that kill was only there for a moment. Now it's just Bonzi cleaning up this team fight. Yeah, you, you just got to reset if you're YSL. You're going to be able to come into this fight. Z has the Ant Matrix to be able to throw into this fight. So I don't know if Bonsai realizes that that ult is coming. Because uh, basically what you could do if you're YSL is push up to that corner and force YSL back with that Ant Matrix. You might be able to buy yourself a tick or two or maybe you even find a kill with it. Yeah, and I mean, if you're Bonsai Kai, I don't think the Valkyrie will be able to get you through it. You're going to need to play around corners of respect the amp matrix here and YSL I would expect them to use it early here the nade comes in only hits wallflower there you do see the immortality field come out there from Z to keep everyone supported but again YSL just gonna get into the small room right now as they're gonna push this high ground as Zuru is getting extremely close to this blade and you're in close quarters if you're YSL you gotta be careful Zebra has to use the Meteor Strike to get out. Zamba does use the Overclock. Not going to be able to find anyone there. Infected, though, with a huge opening pick onto Zamba. Now the Nano coming out here onto Sugu. The Blade, it already finds one. Zebra finds a second one in that backline. Sugu, though, slicing and dicing their way through YSL. Three, make it four for the Genji. That's the power of the Nano Blade, especially when you get Z-Man, uh, Z down early. No Immortality Field to help the team up. Good patience from YSL. They didn't use a single ultimate in that fight. And because they got a good defensive hold on the Bonsai Buddies, they just got to make sure they cap this point and they put themselves in a position to win this map. So you can afford to throw most of your ultimates into this fight as Bonsai has nothing to work with. Yeah, they used everything last fight just to win it. But an early pickoff from the here would be huge. A lag coming out here from Magic Maple. In fact, you're going to find Suguru there to get everything started again for about the second fight in a row. Infected finds one Wallflower, though, will make sure that Kai does not get that res off. And if you're Bonzi, you might recontest here, but I don't think that's the right play. 
I, I don't think it is. You're just going to be feeding ult charge. I feel like that's a huge win for YSL to be able to win that point and only commit the rally. Now you're going to be able to snowball a lot of distance on this point because Bonsai Buddy still don't have anything to work with. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw what YSL did on this close hold on their defense around here. YS, our Bonzi buddies will not be able to do the exact same thing here with Zebra falling really early. And again, I don't think really any ultimates need to be invested here by YSL. Zamba, though, Azrup always seems to be just getting cut off by railgun shots. Yeah, they're going to get Suguru as the blade came out. Zamba able to find the pick on a wall flower. But the distance and the height advantage gained for YSL has already been done. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Whoever's playing the soldier and for Bonzi buddies, it doesn't matter. They will find you out early in fights and they do it again here. Zebra though trying to be very aggressive again, just fo focus in on Infected and look at this. YSL used, you know, they had four ultimates going into that last fight. Both Azrael and Wallflower used their ultimates and found no value with them here. So Bonzi doing a good job evening the scales here. Yeah, as the flux is now gonna come out onto the high ground, not gonna find anything, however. A little bit of an unfortunate play there from Infected. The Meter Strike and the Valkyrie coming out here from Bonzi. Zebra just using to get away from everyone here. The Nano, though, coming out on the Zebra. Ori able just to shoot down Z-Man. They find Azrop as well. And oh no, Infected in for a world of hurt here right now. Yeah, as that's three ultimates committed into that fight. If you're Bonsai Buddies, you will have both of your DPS ultimates in this next fight. Again, I think YSLs, they're in a position where they're going to have to win two fights to bring this point home. Two minutes left on the clock. I think these see the support ultimates could be big. A lot of this next fight is going to rely on Z holding this immortality field for just the right time. Counter for Bonsai, if Otters could get a big antidote and force out that immortality field, they might be able to win this with just a single DPS ultimate. Absolutely, and you're seeing that Otters is probably looking for their Zamba though. Again, really aggressive, the overclock coming out here from them. They notice a lot. They already find Azrael, the antenated, hit their uninfected. The immortality field does come out there. They do find it right there, but eventually they'll have to slide themselves out of there to make sure they don't get pressured out here by infected. But right now, Bonzi, almost only a minute left for them to defend here. They are doing a great job. Yeah, now you're going to be facing down the barrel of a blade coming from Suguru. The good thing is there is no nano to go onto it, but they found Wallflower. Again, it just seems like it's at the most unfortunate times for YSL, but Sugu Zamba always there to find an early pick. Magic Mayfall and Z-Man, or Z, still holding on to their ultimates right now. They need to use them early here. The clock is not their friend anymore. That it is not as Zamba oh! finds Wallflower again! Walk around the corner and just get hit in the face with a railgun shot. Yeah, I'd be going back to spawn too. Zamba just taking over right now. And less than 30 seconds, YSL again needs to wait for a teammate to come back. As this is clutch time, we saw on Ilios when it came to this time, Bonsai has really showed up. Can YSL come through and tie this series one to one? Every ultimate is almost at each team disposes here. The Valkyrie coming out here from Kai. Zebra has to use the Meteor Strike to get themselves out of it. The Rally now coming out from Magic Mayfall, but Sugu pops the blade. It's another Nano Blade slicing already. Find two, make it three, and that will be all she wrote here on Blizzard World. Bonzi Buddies going up 2-0 in the series. As it does not matter what hero Sugu is playing, he will find those picks in crunch time as now they're up 2-0, taking a commanding lead as YSL has got to find an answer. They've got to come up with a way to stop this Doomfist die that Bonsai is playing. At this point, I don't think it's about stopping the Doomfist dive. I think it's stopping both us, Sugu and Zamba here. I mean, yeah, Zebra has done great on the Doomfist, but it doesn't matter who Sugu or Zamba are playing. They've been able to find picks early in team fights to give their team the advantage. I mean, we talked about it after um, YSL was able to cap the point there on Blizzard World. They had four ultimates at their disposal. They could have used them whenever. And maybe they are looking at only one, two team fights there if they use them smartly. But no, it was just, again, Zamba and Sugu finding early picks, making sure that YSL had to stop in their tracks for a little bit, wait for their teammate to come back so they can re-engage as a team. And because of that happened multiple times in a row, Bonzi Buddies was able to eventually get the ultimate advantage.
I still think that's a product of Zebra on this Doomfist causing so much chaos and so much like, look, I mean, we, we saw so many times Magic Maple is just looking in all these different directions, swinging, trying to find things. And this Doomfist dive is causing all that chaos, which is allowing Zomba and Sugu to sneak behind them, find a rail shot, find those picks. So you have to find a way as a team to relax move onto a single target together and start picking these players off one by one. Absolutely. But hey, our third map of the night will be a flashpoint map. And I mean, everyone kind of knew it was going to be Suravasa here. <laughs> yeah, no surprises here. And this is where you need to turn it around if you're YSL. You cannot afford to go down three to zero. It is hard enough trying to reverse sweep in a best of five series, but a best of seven, that is just so much mental fortitude and strength you're going to have to have. So I think this is a pivotal must win map for YSL. Yeah, I feel like the pressure is starting to build on them now. Losing that first map there, I mean, it was close on that second point. Maybe YSL could argue that they should have won it, taken us to a winner, winner take all well, but they didn't. They didn't do it there. And I said even after the first round there on Blizzard World, a uh, YSL seemed to have finally figured out that uh, Doomfist comp a little bit the Bonzi Buddies was running, but no, they really didn't. They got the first point, but it took them a little bit, <clears throat> and then they had a huge ultimate advantage, and they weren't really able to find a lot of value with those ultimates. So yeah, I feel like the pressure for YSL is almost at that limit now. You lose this map, your backs are against the wall. Yeah, you could reverse sweep, but like you said, Ray, it is hard. We will be finding out shortly if YSL can make the subsequent adjustments to get themselves back into the series. However, on a map like Suravasa, the Doomfist is definitely in play for Bonsai Buddies. So YSL, you know, one expects, you know, we're probably going to see the Sigma coming out from Infected again. Can they find a way to turn things around? It looks like they are going to have Infected play the Orisa instead. We actually saw this in the console open tier uh, when we saw Red Team going up against Short Bus, where the Short Bus was absolutely dominating with their Doomfist compositions. Then Red Team on Servasa makes the swap, has their tank go over to Orisa, and they started to turn things around. Forced them at five, ended up losing, but the Orisa did wonders. So can YSL do it again? Because they were not able to previously on well, but I mean, what... Ilias is a unique map, so I have more hopes for it on Suravasa. Yeah, I'm kind of with you here. I feel like the, the Orisa pick will play a little bit better here. There's more space, considering when they played it on Lighthouse, they kind of struggled to get a lot of space. But Sugu, again, back on the soldier and able to find Infected out early. And now you're just seeing the rest of Bonza here just dive in on that back line. Just absolutely insane wrecking shop. It, it, it just feels like YSL is looking like chickens with their heads cut off at this point as uh, everyone's aggressing as we see the one person hanging back for Bonsai Buddies going to cap the point uh, as YSL, they got to find an answer. And I, I, I'm just not sure if this Kiriko is going to be enough heals to keep up infected. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. I mean, Kai can get them in and out. I mean, my bad. Magic Maple can get them in and out of fights pretty much quickly here. But again, the healing, I just don't know if it's fully there for YSL at the moment. But Zamba finding Z. I mean, there goes one of your healers is uh, infected incredibly low. Going to get taken out here by Otters. And YSL again. This is a clean fight. that bon This is a team fight that Bonzi buys. It's just looking to clean up. Yeah, as this synergy from Bonsai Buddies is showing through strong time and time again. And that's the thing. The DPS lineup for YSL is not the same. I, 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 they definitely had Zara in last week. So the fact that there's, you know, they play so many different players looks like it might be starting to bite them as Bonsai just plays this consistent roster. And it really shows that this chemistry matters. YSL trying to get back in for a touch here. Sugu, though, finding Magic Maple, the Pulse Bomb, finding Wallflower, and again, not even a sweat being broken here by the buddies as it's a team kill in the first, first point going over to them. Yeah, as you mentioned, they're not even having to break a sweat 
you use that pulse bomb, but that's the only ultimate you needed to get that point flip as we now head over to Gardens. YSL making a composition swap, which I'm very interested to see how this is going to work out. You got infected going back over to the SIG, and this is where we've seen them have their most success at possibly breaking through this Doomfist. But they're going to have Wallflower go over to the May. Being able to add that slowing effect onto Zebra might be the ticket they're looking for. They, they need to just have or find something that slows them down a little bit here. The, the ice wall comes out a little bit too late to stop Zebra. The point open here as the continue rush comes out here from Otters. And again, Bonzi just, just playing incredibly aggressive here. YSL needs to find some answer. They need to find it quick. But again, who else but Sugu picking up two kills. Z-Man or Z will find Zamba there to get everything going. But again, it's just Sugu's world that we're living in. And they themselves get the ace absolutely incredible sugu has come into this grand finals and said listen i will carry us to the championship and they have never strained from the path of greatness and oh, again it's just a combo of sugu and zebra going in at this point right i mean we talked about a little bit mentals might be going here for ysl they need something to go their way as z has been the only one to pick up a kill so far and yeah, they just have it feels like they have no idea where zebra is every time it feels like they're walking in trying to go set up and it's like zebra's like hello punches them and then the whole team is there to capitalize on it YSL has to keep their head on a swivel constantly when you're going up against a Doomfist like this. You're going to have the Blizzard to throw into this next fight, but it's going to be tough with the mobility that Bonsai has, and they're just going to give up this point, and Z goes down. <laughs> Who else again but Sugu? I mentioned it already, but this is just Sugu World's world, and we're just breathing the air in it right now. Sugu has just taken over the series, Zebra finding Wallflower, and again, at the spawn doors, YSL cannot get away from them. This is going from bad to worse if you're YSL. I mean, you haven't had a chance to use a single ultimate, so yeah, you're going to have five coming into this next fight. But, I mean, Bonsai, they have four to be able to contest you with. This is looking more and more dangerous. I mean, at this point, someone's just got to make a play for YSL. I don't care who. Yeah, it needs, it, at this point, someone needs to stamp their name in this series. The damage coming out here from Z-Man, but Bonzi Buy is already capping the point right there. And you see everyone on Bonzi Buy is just trying to get away. The Pulse Bomb coming out will find the the Immortality there from Z. Uh, Meteor Strike coming out as well. And now, finally, some members of Bonzi Buy is getting incredibly low. And Zebra taken out. This is the fight that YSL needs here. They just need to clean up. They cap, they retake the point here after Bonzi gets 25, but they're still trying to pick up the kills. This was the fight that YSL needed. They get all the ultimates out of Bonsai and only commit three. So now you're in a position, you have control this point, you have two ultimates to Bonsai's zero, and now you can finally breathe, you can relax. You, you can realize, okay, we just get one point under our belts and we can start to get things back going for us. Yeah, and the two ultimates that YSL is holding on to right now, in my opinion, are two huge ultimates. Wallflower can use the Blitzer to try to capture some out, but it's Azeroth, uh, an overclock that needs to be huge. It needs to be huge for them right now. They need to get a point under their belt here, build up that confidence a little bit, and try to reverse sweep this map now. You talked about Bonzi. Has no ultimates here, so it's going to be really hard for them to engage with anything, but I'd just be watching out for Sugu here. Yeah, that's the one thing they've been so good for Bonsai. He's oh finding early God. picks, and Sugu finds another! <laughs> just... It's how do they keep letting this man get away with it? That's already almost every fight so far at this point. That Sugu has just opened up Wallflower, though. We'll take care of Zebra. But again, it's Sugu sending Wallflower back to point right now. YSL, they just they just need to win this team fight. And the point is there's the stick, though. Gets rid of Infected. And winning this team fight seems like only a dream at this point. It's just, just the rest of Bonzi buddies cleaning it up. And we're going to have sound barriers still in play for both teams coming to this next fight. So, to keep YSL's hopes alive on Suravasa, it's going to be on the back of Azraf. Has this overclock to be able to commit into this fight. And I feel like you've got to get aggressive with this because Sugu is looming 20% away from being able to seal the deal. Because we know he don't miss when it comes to his overclocks.
I mean, that's only one railgun headshot away from having their overclock ready to go. But if you're YSL, Azra, Z, they have that combo ready to go right now. If you want to try to get a lot of damage out, it hits the amp and the overclock right now. That's exactly what's going to come out. And look what this does to Bonzi. They're going to try to play around walls, play around corners to be coming out here from Kai. Same thing with Otters popping their own Katsuni Rush to try to get something going. The Overclock and Amagers come and go, finding no value, but you're seeing Infected pick up Zamba there. Sugu gets incredibly low, but you will see YSL retake point, but Bonji does have some ultimates here. The, the, the Overclock coming out here from Sugu, Infected has to use the Flux here, will not find any kills, but they find Otters on the way back. They might be able to find Sugu here, they're going to be able to do that, and YSL will take this point and keep the map alive. Gotta be a sigh of relief coming out from YSL. Is now... Because of the way the RNG of the points have fallen, we move to Ruins for the next one. Going to be favorable for YSL. But once that one's done, we go to Temple. So if you can string together this next point, if you're YSL, the, the points are basically are going to be in your favor. You're going to be able to have good positioning going forward on these next points. Zamba has this Pulse Bomb ready to go, and you see everyone for YSL kind of grouped up right there. Wallflower, though, will find Otter's Pulse Bomb comes out. A huge immortality field there from Z to keep everyone alive through it. The, the Meteor Strike coming out there from Z, but will not be able to find anyone. Azraf, though, making sure that they get punished for their aggression. That Azraf now starting to put their name in that kill feed. Point is open, and Bonzi just trying to clean up this one. Z will get the kill there on the Kai. And YSL going to cap the point here first. Uh, feels like YSL is starting to flip a switch. As, I mean, they're able to win that, don't have to commit any ultimates. They're going to have a Blizzard and an Ant Matrix to work with. They were able to force out ultimates from Bonsai. Uh, I mean, they definitely got to be feeling good. It seems like they have their confidence back. The Ice Wall there, oh, just a little bit too late to pick up Zebra. And now again, you just see Zebra trying to apply a lot of pressure. Bonzi maybe going to try to play four point right now. That's exactly what they're going to do. Just daring YSL to walk into them on point. Wallflower, kind of uh, in a between a rock and a hard place, use the ice wall there to get themselves out. Still holding onto a lot of ultimates. Magic Maple, though, actually popped the beat there to try to get something going, but Magic Maple might be the first one taken out of this fight. The Blizzard coming out from Wallflower again, just to try to get Bonzi away. It's working, but it won't find anyone. Infected, though, will find Zebra. The Flux coming out. You see Infected just looking for anyone. They're desperately looking for the Otter, though, able to get out the last second. A huge play there by the Kiriko for Bonzi. But YSL needs to try to keep Bonzi off the point right now, and they're going to be able to do that even with Zamba picking up magic. Yeah, you see what that's doing here. I mean, every um, Magic Maple let their team know that. Oh, the Pulse Bomb coming out. Again, a huge immortality there from Z-Man. Make sure it does not find anyone. But Zebra, first one taking out of this fight. Bonzi is still kind of engaged in this one here with this Kasuni Rush from Otters. Uh, Sugu now popping the overclock here, looking for anyone right now. Desperately just not going to be able to find one. But Bonzi, the pressure coming out there from Sugu will cap him the first point. Overclock. Overclock coming out from them, beat coming out here from Kai right now. YSL doing a good job of surviving through everything, but Zebra again has to use the meter strike to get themselves out of a sticky situation. Gonna be able to find a lot of damage, but Sugu, their name has not popped up here in a while. Finds the first pick there on the magic. Kai, Zamba cleaning up the rest of this fight, and now Bonzi looking good to make sure they don't get reverse sweep here on Servasa. And again, you saw Zamba just lurking there in the back. No Pulse Bomb ready, but one click, one quick clip into the back of anyone there for YSL. That Pulse Bomb is right now. Ant Man just comes out there from YSL. Infected will find Zamba. There's no Pulse Bomb going to be used this fight here. Bonzi, though, going to allow YSL to cap the point here. And maybe just fall back and wait for Zamba to come back. Oh! Oh! 
and finding Suga there is a huge pick. If they could have been able to find Zebra there, that would have been even bigger for them. That would have allowed Wallflower the time to come back. But now you see the Consumer Rush being invested here by Otters to get everything going. Flux coming out here from Infected. But again, I think for the third time this map, it misses on everyone. B coming out here from Magic Maple to respond to that miss there from Infected. Wallflower back in the fight. Does have a Blizzard ready to go if they need to use it. Zebra uses the Meteor Strike here. Will not be able to find anyone with it just yet. This Pulse Bomb coming out from Zamba does not get the stick. Does not get the kill either. Zebra doing whatever they can to keep themselves alive, but Magic Maple trying to get them off the map. Infected will find Sugu there. That's been the bane of, of Bond or YSL's existence. Sugu has been, but getting them out of this fight first is huge for them. The touch comes out there from Zamba. Zebra gets denied at the entrance, able to eventually get their way through. B coming out here from Kai and Sugu now popping the overclock here. Ant Midge is coming out here from Z, trying to get whatever they can. Zugu will be able to find Z right or Azeroth right there, but two kills going back the way of YSL. Bonzi though has capped the point. YSL needs to start playing for point here again, but Zebra doing a great job punching everyone off a of point here. Infected will find Kai bon or YSL desperately just trying to get rid of the remaining members of Bonzi here. Zebra Otters last two alive. It's just Zebra at this point. The wall. Will deny him. YSL back in control. Meteor Strike coming out there from Zebra. Overtime clock ticking down incredibly fast. Zebra doing whatever they can to keep this point alive, but they're not going to be able to. YSL breathes some life into this series by winning this map and keeping their hopes alive. Yeah, a absolutely. I agree with everything you said there, Ray. I I, I don't know if uh, there's a problem with your mic. It sounds like the stream is not hearing you here. Uh, but oh, I mean, whoops. this was this was the exact map that YSL needed here. Yeah, it got off to a rough start, and Sugu kind of took over it there in the first two points. Like they got a team kill, an ace on their own, it, and like their team was just playing firing at all cylinders but ysl all they needed to have go their way was one point and i felt like they won that third point there and that built that confidence back up in them you saw them play a little bit differently play a little bit more aggressively they started focusing in on individual targets like you kind of said they needed to do and once they were able to do that you know the dominoes just started falling for them there to win multiple team fights in a row and they reverse swept that map to give themselves their first point in this series which which is huge yeah. because going into that third point, we were staring at potentially Bonzi buddies, a potential sweep. Yeah, it's ex some extremely much needed confidence, a much needed sigh of relief for uh, YSL being able to fight, claw, scratch their way back into this series. 3-0 would have been absolutely devastating to be facing down, and now they're able to cook in this series. 2-1, mm -hmm. this is the series we waited for, but... We are going to take a quick break. It's going to allow both teams to refocus. Uh, grab a snack, grab a drink, and we'll be right back.
All right, welcome back to the CGLNA PC Open Tier Grand Finals. And Ray, we have ourselves a series now with YSL Reverse sweeping uh, Bonzi buddies there on Saravasa. Uh, it is incredible. We knew this series was going to be action packed, extremely close, you know, nail biting, and all these maps, despite, you know, 2-0, I mean, they've been down to the wire. YSL finally able to come through in clutch time. And I feel like they knew Sugu had that overclock coming. And they, I mean, he was able to get one kill, but they had so much pressure on him. They were able to take him out after that. So well played by YSL. As we have the next map pick coming in from Bonsai Buddies, trying to bring things back in their favor. We're going to Esperanza. Esperanza is a very interesting push map, in my opinion. I feel like this is the, probably the most strategic of the push maps that we see, because normally a lot of the times, after you get that forward spawn point, I feel like you see a lot of teams just back off the bot a little bit and wait for the other team to re-engage. Uh, I, I completely agree, and I think these maps... Uh, I mean, this map particularly is going to favor both compositions we've seen out of these teams. I think if you are Bonsai Buddies, the Doomfist composition you've been playing, if you want to play it on this map, I think it's going to work. And I mean, we've seen at the highest of levels this Sigma composition working extremely well. So YSL is going to be able to continue to play that. My question is, given how well the May worked on Saravasa once they made that adjustment, is YSL going to look to make the swap? Or, I mean, like, look to stay on it and not swap off it. As uh, it looks like they are going to keep that May, which I think is the right decision. And But look at what Bonzi's coming back out with here. The same kind of comp we saw on Blizzard World. One that had a lot of freedom of movement for them. Sugu, Sugu on that, uh, Genji, did great. Zamba on the Soldier did great as well. I mean, uh, how is y YSL going to have to stop this somehow? I get it. It's going to have to be kind of on Wallflower here on the May. As the gates open and this map begins, the one advantage YSL is definitely going to have is the ability to rotate into and away from Bonsai Buddies with the speed boost available to them. They will have to be, however, extremely careful of these Otter's nades. That can be absolutely devastating. Yeah, and we saw how devastating they were at certain fights on Blizzard World as well. But YSL, again, just trying to rotate around the this clock tower right now. Bonzi did the same thing to start here, but again, now they're rotating back towards the bot a little bit. Bot open, and you just see them pushing here for a slight second. Now they finally take the lead a little bit, but still, each team just kind of feeling each other out right now. But Zamba can be able to find Magic Maple out first, then trade out by Wallflower, and then another trade on the Wallflower. Yeah, to me, it's extremely perplexing, Dexatron. This composition that YSL is playing, I mean, what is Wallflower doing off by himself like that? I mean, you feel like, you know, you want to play a lot closer and help out your Sigma, but they were just completely isolated and you just completely trade out. And I feel like that was not what you wanted to open things up if you're YSL. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Tryhard Ray. I mean, it just seemed like, again, they they went a little bit too far away from their team. Maybe they thought they were going to rotate on to uh, Zebra there, but there's just no follow-up there from their team. Again, each team trying to play this really safe at the moment. It seems like neither team really wants to, you know, be very aggressive, but you see Kai get taken out there by Infected. A huge pickoff here for YSL very early in this one. You do see two members of YSL hit by that Antonade. The Immortality are going to have to come out here from Z to keep them all alive, but Zebra popping the... the the or the meter strike they're not going to find anything they actually they get punished for it yeah you do get the i mean you're going to win the fight you're down z if you're ysl but you're going to be able to gain a lot of meterage you forced out that meteor strike and you haven't had to use any ultimates of your own uh blizzard coming online for wallflower he's got to be careful a lot of targets low you can't afford for anyone to go down just yet 
Yeah, I mean, this. I, I expect this to be a kind of a, a heavy ult invested fight here from both sides, but I feel like each team just looking for one ult to come out from the other. But it's going to be Zamba getting the nano here from Otters. The overclock coming out from them as well. Going to be responded here by the beat from Magic Maple. And these two ultimates from Bonzi going to find nothing here. Now the Blizzard coming out from Wallflower will find Zamba and Otters. Zamba taking out Otters. Going to be lucky to keep themselves alive here. Subu, though, in the back line, popping the blade, will find one, make it two there. And now they have control of the bot. I don't think YSL really knows. No, they definitely know, but they're they're all just pretty much dead. That took pretty much every single ultimate that Bonsai had, but you're going to take it because you're going to be able to gain so much distance. I think you might be able to gain yourself this first checkpoint, which is going to be a huge deal on a map like Esperanza to where you could just keep falling back, take control of the high ground, and it makes YSL's job that much harder going forward. Yeah, absolutely. And you kind of see it already. Bonzi kind of already expecting it, planning it. You see three of their members up there on that high ground. The only person to go a little bit away and be a little bit aggressive is Sugu. And I mean, that's kind of what Sugu wants to do, be able to take their own angles and look for these rail shots. YSL going to have a distinct ult advantage coming to this next fight. They have to take these next fights and snowball and try and match this first point checkpoint that Bonsai has been able to gain. Sugu has to dash out that disrupting shot there from Azrop, who immediately pops the, the overclock right now, looking for anyone. But a good job there by Otter. Get the anti-nade on them. Sugu will be able to... Take care of them here. Now the Flux coming out here from Infected will hit people this time. Going to be able to slam Kai to the ground. Magic Maple will be able to clean them up there. Infected finds Sugu again. And now YSL, you said they needed to win a team fight. They won that team fight. Yeah, they're going to need to find more Zebras still alive. They're going to have an Ant Matrix. Going to the next fight, but the Nano is now going to get engaged. And you see Zebra focusing in on Z-Man. Going to be able to find them there. Wall, the will find Otters, but it's just Zebra again. Throwing fists at people, finding two already. Maybe looking for a third here with a meteor strike. Not going to be able to. Infected, though, takes them out. Yeah, now the res comes in on the otters, and you're not able to fight aggressively here. You have to back up if you're YSL. Wait for your team to re-engage. That, that was absolutely devastating for the side of YSL. Yeah, and because of how Bonzi's been playing this, these fights here, like, the spawns haven't reset, they're still getting these forward spawns, and you're seeing YSL just struggle to get the bot back to at least the starting point to reset those spawns, and again, Bonzi being very aggressive here, YSL though, all in that high ground, the Valkyrie coming out here from Kai to keep everyone supported, maybe even do a little bit of damage here as you see the damage beam come out from them, but again, you just see Bonzi, once they realize the maybe in a little bit too deep, get out to safety, jump out. Uh, as Zomba is going to have the overclock looking for kills. Not able to find anybody. Forces out the sound barrier for Magic Maple. And that's kind of been a normal response here for Magic Maple and YSL so far whenever they hear that uh, overclock come out. The Blizzard coming out here from Wallflower will not be able to find anyone, but it does give them the thing they were looking for. The spawn resets the blade, though, coming out from Sugu. We saw him get two last time. Diving in has to fall back out, but Azrup with a huge railgun shot there to make sure they get sent back to the spawn here. And it's the far spawns this time. And now YSL just looking to find another one here to give them a huge advantage. Yeah, they have to clean up this fight. They can't lose Z like they have been in these exiting fights. And it looks like they aren't going to this time as now they're able to clean up and they're going to buy themselves so much distance on this cart. But they got, they're just going to let Zebra get out. They saw you, you saw the ice wall come up there from Wallflower, but it was just a little bit too late again to, tra to capture Zebra before it. But now Bonzi going to be able to get back out here and contest this bot before they get to those, the checkpoint. Yeah, and you'll be facing a Nano that'll probably go on to top of Zebra. Val will be able to keep people up in this fight, but they are going to face a Flux and Amp Matrix combination Ooh. that can deal out a lot of damage. Zebra tried to escape with their life at the moment. Going to be able to. The Valkyrie comes out. Azrof, though, shuts down Kai. The Nano comes out to Zebra at the perfect time. The huge anti there on the infected. Zebra will be able to find them, but you're just seeing YSL now clean up the fight. They got the forward spawns, I believe, and they might be able to take the lead. They might, depends if they can get this pick onto Otters, and they do. This is all now just when you thought Bonsai had the momentum. YSL flips it on its head, and you're going to have DPS ultimates to come into this next fight with. Again, but we've seen Bonsai do this in the past. Just be very aggressive, firing these early picks. Zebra, though, going to immediately start with the Meteor Strike of their own, trying to find anyone. It looks like it's just to get themselves out, but Sugu, normally the first one to find kills, gets killed first this time, and YSL now in the lead here with three minutes left to go. 
and you're gonna have the ability to throw in a blizzard into this next fight they have to hope that zomba can come through on the sojourn with an overclock and they found magic mate ball and Zebra finds Wallflower, so no Blizzard for YSL. This fight, Magic Maple not going to be able to use the beat because, like you said, they were first one taken out. Zombo will find one there with the Overclock, but their team finally able to clean up that fight. However, YSL has these forward spawns. I don't know if Bozzy gets us back to the checkpoint or the reset uh, in, t in time. I think you're going to take that, Dex. I mean, yes, you lose Magic Mate, but you didn't have the se you didn't use the sound barrier for the overclock. But Sugu will be coming in with a blade, and you'll have the sound barrier to throw in response. And if you want, you can even throw in the Blizzard to try and slow down and zone Sugu. So you have two options if you're YSL to deal with what has been a devastating ultimate for YSL. Absolutely. Spawns, though, reset right there. Azrof gets really low, but you look at this fight right now. You infected, trying to take a lot of space. Zebra has to back up, and look what that forces out here from Kai, the Valkyrie, but Zebra finds Wallflower. So again, no Blizzard can be ready to this fight. The Flux has been a lot better this map than it was last map. Going to be able to find some there, but not going to be able to find any kills. The Accretion will hit Zebra there for a moment as the Valkyrie finally goes away there from Kai, but YSL, again, back in control of the bot as they're just looking to find an early pick, but Sugu popping the blade. If they need one to be huge, needs this one but an infected again shuts down the person who normally finds these first picks and now they turn it into two looking for three zebra that will shut down z here but ysl i mean they're doing everything they need to do right now yeah a minute and a half left on the clock a lot of ultimates were engaged from bonsai they have to string together one or two fights to try and turn this around zomba goes low but zebra finds azraf and wallflower gonna get hit by the accre or Otter's going to be hit by the accretion there, taken out by Wallflower, infected, finds Zebra, and now YSL just in control of the bot again. Zomba, though, finds a huge pick there onto Mateball, and now you see them focusing in on Wallflower there. Sugu will be able to find them, and you, you see infected. Has to just back out of this one, but why do they re-engage? Yeah, you're going to have a couple players up there, but they're going to elect to just take control of the bot, which I think is going to be a smart thing. Blizzard coming online for YSL as we are approaching the final minute on Esperanza. Make ball goes down. A huge pick there by Zomba. The Flux coming out there from Infected. I don't think it found anyone that time. And now you see Bonzi here will be able to get the forward spawns for these last 30 seconds, which could be huge for this series. YSL holding on to a slim lead. Yeah, this Blizzard overclock combination coming in for YSL has to be the secret sauce that nets them a 2-2 series lead. Valkyrie coming out here from Kai. He's going to be paired with the overclock here from Zamba. One pick from this railgun is all they need, and they find Z out early. Infected taking out Sugu finds Azeroth. The Blizzard, though, will find one, but I don't think there's enough follow-up here from YSL to get anything going right now. They need a miracle here from Magic Maple, but that miracle will not happen as Bonzi takes the lead. And that is going to be the map. Bonsai able to clutch up in the end. Takes this map and goes up three to one and puts themselves on championship point. A great round here for Bonzi. I mean, they started off good, then YSL came back. They built that momentum up, and I think it was this play right here by Zamba that kind of opened it up, kind of changed the momentum of that entire map, gave Bonzi back the bot back, gave the bot back to Bonzi, and Bonzi never really let go after that. I think it's just a product of the fact that once again early picks coming in from bonsai once again they got aggressive with their overclock the the ult advantage was definitely slightly in the favor of ysl coming into that last fight being able to aggressively use that blizzard and overclock could have netted them a win but we just saw bonsai once again get aggressive find the picks and it's a big reason why they find themselves on championship point yeah, we talked about it a lot throughout this series. It doesn't matter who it is. It just who's, whoever's playing the soldier is always able to find just these opening picks here for Bonzi. Yeah, and you can give a lot of credit there to Zebra for taking a lot of uh, attention away from those two DPS for Bonzi. But again, you just have to give a lot of credit to Sugu and Zamba for being able to land those shots. Yeah, lots of props on the entirety of the Bonsai buddies. Well, it all comes down to this for YSL they get the map pick and i think they've chosen a good one to try and limit this doomfist composition we are headed to shambali monastery 
Yeah, I think, again, we talked about this going into our second map of the night. Whenever YSL picks a map, they need to pick a map that the Doomfist cannot find a lot of value, or if they're going to try to run the Doomfist, it struggles to find value. Shambali Monastery, a very kind of close quarters map through and through up until you get to the final point. And I just don't feel like that really works for how Zebra wants to play this Doomfist. They've been really open to wanting to be in the open, have these wide open spaces where they can jump around and get themselves out. This map is not that i agree i think this map limits a lot of what bonsai has been so successful in i think you know for players like zomba and sugu these are good maps for like sojourn and hit scans to take their angles so they have that going for them but we haven't seen zebra go off this doom fist and this is just not as conducive as a map to be able to continue to play that i mean who knows maybe they can force their way and make it work but uh, I think, you know, just map pick wise advantage YSL coming into map number five. Yeah, and we, but this is the same conversation we had going into map two of Blizzard World. We talked about, you know, it's not a good Doomfist map. If they're going to play it, they're going to force it. But Zebra did find some value on Blizzard World. Uh, not as much on offense, but a lot on the defensive round they had there. They found a lot of value. Again, it basically, they took a lot of attention away from their two DPS here. So I really fully expect Zero to run the Doomfist. If there's anything that kind of shows me that YSL is starting to take over the series is if Zebra gets off the Doomfist at this point. Well, we're about to find out what these teams are looking to want to play YSL. No surprises here. Sigma with the May. And Bonsai, it looks like they are going to force this Doom Fist once again. I mean, the old adage is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's gotten them this far. Can it net them a championship? It could yeah. all come down to this map for Bonsai. Yeah, I mean, Bonsai, the, Bonsai has three maps right now to win one and you know be champions here but you don't want to give ysl the momentum back because we saw what they you saw what ysl did with momentum on suravasa after they got that first point they looked like an entirely different team i would say the one thing even if you end up dropping this map if you're bonsai you're going to be able to pick all the rest of the maps going forward in this series. So that's one thing you have going for you. But you definitely want to close this out right here. And now as Suguru going to go over to this Echo, which uh, I'm kind of a big fan of that focusing beam can help uh you know finish off a lot of these targets a lot easier, like uh, more of a chunky DPS like May is. And Zamba already starting off finding magic out early, but Wallflower are going to be able to find Sugu right back there. However, I believe they're going to probably get Rez back into this one. And now the Doomfist we talked about maybe struggling here. Zebra just is finding the value already. Yeah, Infected does find that pick onto Kai and Otter, so no healing on the side of YSL, but it doesn't matter if the rest of the team is dead for Infected as he just is forced to back up. Yeah, you see magic, they're trying to just boost them out of it, but not fast enough as Zamba able to blink right back into their presence and take care of Infected. Yeah, as much as they wanted to speed them out, they couldn't. They had to stay on heals and amp up the heals to keep them alive, and they just weren't able to get out in time. As YSL is just on the back foot, this dive is working out so well. This the Sugu, Zomba, and Zebra are just all on the same page when it comes to these dive targets. Yeah, absolutely, and it was something I kind of talked about at the start of the series. A, a good Doomfist comp is very hard to beat if you cannot get rid of the Doomfist, and so far that's been the hardest thing for YSL to do. The Pulse Bomb comes out there, will only take care of the Immortality Field there for Z, but right now, I mean, Bonsi doing a good job here. Sugu pops the, the, uh, the duplicate here into a, <laughs> a Sigma of their own. We'll get knocked out of it, but you're just seeing the kills already go the way of Bonsai. Yeah, the damage has been done. I mean, you pop Amp Matrix, but it's just not going to be enough. That is point number one captured for Bonsai with quite some ease coming into this. And man, it, it just feels like YSL. Now, okay, we're going to get some swaps coming in. They're going to have Wall or Abandon the May, which I mean, I kind of agree with the this Sojourn. I mean, uh, not Sojourn, this... Uh, this uh, Echo and Tracer combination, it's not super conducive for May to find a lot of value into. Yeah, but again, I feel like you're and you're seeing Magic make a swap here as well, going over to the Brigitte. I mean, you just need to shut down someone here. I think you've been able to find some kills, but Kai has been able to res them, get them right back in the fight. And now, I mean, this second point push is hard to get through if you get stopped once. And YSL, they just need one team fight to go their way. 
Yeah, you need Magic Maypaw on this Brig to help limit a lot of what Zomba is able to do, and Brig is going to be the right trick as Pulse One Meteor Strike come out. Doesn't find anyone. Wallflower, though, will find Zomba immediately trade out there by Otters. Kai, get a pop the Valkyrie here. They've done a good job with these Valkyries, just making sure everyone gets healed up from their team. And they get Zomba back in the fight. You should not allow that to happen now. The Kasuni Rush coming out here from Bozzy as the Flux comes out from Infected. Looking to try to get rid of some members, but they're not going to be able to. Z-Man, though, I mean, Z does take care of Otters there. And now, I mean, you need to try to win this fight here. If you're YSL, you get rid of one support, but you immediately see Sugu pop that duplicate back into the Sigma here. Immediately gets taken out that they're by Magic Maple, and again, YSL is, in my opinion, doing a really good job this fight, just cleaning up targets, even though they've really only found one pick. Oh. And they, yeah, okay, there you go. Azrev getting Zebra down, that is going to spell the end of this fight, and that's some much needed momentum coming in from YSL, and they, I mean, with the new, more defensive composition they're playing with the Brig, I, I, I think they have a chance to turn things around. Bonsai Buddies threw a lot into that fight, and now YSL has built up to a war chest of ultimates. Yeah, but I mean, I talked about Kai using the Valkyrie only it feels like about 45 seconds ago and they have another one ready to go this fight. It won't really win you a fight on its own, but it can keep it, you know, in you in the fight a lot longer. But like you said, YSL, a war chest of ultimates at the moment. They have to be smart, though, and not get caught out here by a Pulse Bomb. Pulse Bomb comes out, Azrev almost goes down, but is able to stay alive as the Valk is now trying, is up for Kai, trying to keep the team up. But YSL has not had to commit anything in this fight so far, and they're just wasting more time. Speaking of committing, they commit the overclock here on Azrev and the Immortality Field. Kai gonna pop their Valkyrie here, not gonna be able to find anyone with it, but just keep enough members alive to make sure Zamba finds Magic Wallflower, though, who we'll immediately trade that kill on Sugu, popping their own Pulse Bomb here, now focusing in on Otters. Meteor Strike comes out there from Zebra, not gonna be able to find anyone there. Azrev and Zebra trade their Z for Zamba. You will take that, I think, if you're Bonzi here, as you just want to be a little bit more aggressive. And Zebra, with about 15 health, able to find Infect there, and it's really up to Azrev right now to try to slow this cart down. Yeah, and they're just not going to be able to do it, but the rally's going to come out for Magic May to keep them alive for just long enough to get their spawners back. And a huge play here by Magic. You see what that does to Bonzi, even with a little bit of a numbers and damage advantage. They fall back, but YSL, you can't let them cap the point here and now. Another duplicate coming out here. This time, Sugu goes after the Brig. The damage comes out here from Z, but they're not going to be able to use it for very long here. Magic taking out Wallflower, though. We'll find Zamba. I mean, Zebra. Z taking out Azrop, taking out Infected. Wallflower making sure they keep their team alive at this point here. Just trying to clean up the rest of Bonzi here. The Pulse Bomb stick is huge. Finds Kai. And now they're just trying to get rid of Zamba here. They're going to be able to do that. And they hold on by the skin of their teeth. Wow, it's just like the hair on their chinny chin chin. YSL able to keep the second point defense alive. Uh, I mean, it cost them pretty much everything they had. Bonsai, they'll be able to come in, lots of ultimates to be able to use. But, I, I mean, it, it, considering how fast Bonsai was able to take this first point, the amount of time you've been able to drain off the clock if you're YSL is awesome. If they can get like a really good opening pick here, they might be able to win this fight despite the ult advantage Bonsai is going to have. Zamba used Pulse Bomb early, not able to find a pick there with that. You do see Zebra here focusing in on Z yet again, but they're doing a good job making sure that Zebra does not find them here. Now Zebra has to use their own meter shot to get out of the Valkyrie and the Katsuna Rush coming out here from Oz. They're not going to do a lot for their team, but Infected going to get punched out there by Zebra. But hey, YSL, they survived through all four ultimates that Bonzi had, and now they're building up to all theirs here. This is Final Fight here, but Zamba with a huge pick on the Waterflower, making sure that they might not be Final Point. They're looking for more right now. Overtime has commenced here for Bonzi. They need to find a pick and they need to find it now. Azrov getting very close to an overclock could slam the door in the face of Bonzi if they can build up to it. Here it comes. Overclock come out. Azrov shuts down Zamba. The Ant Major's coming out here from Z. Azrov putting their name in this kill feed. Finds one, two, make it three. Can they find a fourth? It's four. Not going to be able to find the ace, but infected. Make sure the round will end here and now. And YSL, a huge point to stop. The swap over to the more defensive Brig composition for Magic Me is working out in spades. I mean, Zomba, you know, the Trace is still going to find its value when it finds its value. But the Brig is limiting the amount that it's able to find on the back line. And it's helping out a lot with the Doomfist. I mean, we've seen time and time where Magic Meatball is turning around, hitting the whip shot on to zebra and just affecting what he's trying to do. So it's a very nice adjustment coming out from YSL. Can they continue 
to ride this momentum, make this a 3-2 series, and look to come back. I mean, we saw this almost exact same thing on Blizzard World, and I talked about it, that YSL looks like they finally figured out how to shut down the Doomfist comp, or just shut down Zebra a little for Bonzi, but then they couldn't really get anything going after capping the, the first point there. This time, though, they need to be able to cap this first point with a decent amount of time. They need to have a lot of time. If it goes into overtime on this first point, YSL eventually, essentially is going to have to win uh, every team fight after that, in my opinion. Yeah, getting off to a fast start is going to be huge. Interestingly enough, Suguru is going to elect to get off of the Echo for this defense, and they're going to go over to the Ferris. So, uh, I mean, Ferris is going to have a lot more verticality, but not as much fluidity, like fluidity when it comes to the movement. So uh, you can definitely be much more of a sitting duck in the sky on Ferris. So you're going to have to be very careful of your positioning if you're Sugu. But honestly, I do like this pick here from Sugu. If they're if, if they're taking some focus off of Zebra here, that's only going to help Zebra out a little bit more, get in that backline. And then it's just that thing of, hey, we need to focus on Zebra a little bit more. So you focus less on Sugu, and Sugu starts to pop off. But right now, again, an opening pick for YSL is what they need, and it's not going to be what they find. And it's Sugu putting their name in to kill people. Kai, a huge, a huge trade there coming out. Infected finds them right now. Yeah, that's a big pick. You know, Rez in the fight. So YSL can start to look to take these fights and there's no pocket available for Sugu either. And now you see the dive come in there from Zebra Samba will be able to take care of Magic Mayfall. But hey, YSL's doing a good job of just pushing this cart up now. Ooh. A lot of progress to be made as Sugu is just in the skies looking, prodding for those picks. Uh, but Wallflowers found Zebra. Both tanks out. Zamba can be taken out after that kill. They're on to Infected. YSL still does have a good opportunity here to push this cart a little bit, but it, again, Zebra will be able to get back up much faster than Infected. A lot of ultimates will be coming online for Bonsai just because they're able to take all this damage in the free rate. You're going to be having Rocket Barrage, Pulse Bomb, and even a Nano coming online. This is going to be tough for YSL to be able to push through. But we have seen YSL survive through a heavily invested ult fight from Bonzi before. They need to do it again here if they really want to keep themselves alive. But you see just this, the synergy coming out from the Pulse Bomb coming out there from Zombo. We'll be able to find Magic Mateball there. I don't think it's stuck. But now you're just starting to see Bonzi clean up this team fight. And YSL has already burned through about half their time. Yeah, as and it only cost them a pulse bomb. You needed to force more ultimates out of YSL if you, I mean out of Bonsai if you were YSL. So you gotta go back to the spawn room and look to regroup his Zombus already halfway to another pulse bomb. That was a disastrous fight for YSL. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, you're looking at YSL coming back in this one here. You're going to have a flux. You're going to have an, a, a pulse bomb and the ant matrix. But again, Sugu is just going to be waiting for you to get around a corner and then pop a barrage. Yeah, this is dangerous territory. In comes the nano barrage, but a flux comes in, but it still finds Azra. The accretion comes in accretion there, but the, yeah, like like you said, still find Azra up there, so it's worth it for them here. But Z will be able to find Sugu there, and I don't think you're going to see Kai try to commit into getting them back up here, even though they use their Valkyrie. Huge anti there from uh, Otters as the flux comes out from Infected. will not be able to get rid of anyone now, but if you're YSL, I mean, you lose one person there for three ults coming out from Bonzi, and you find Kai. Huge start to this re-engaged fight here, especially with almost a minute to go on the clock. Yeah, you will be facing the Pulse Bomb and the Meteor Strike, but those are le the least of your problems. Those aren't as dangerous. You're going to have an Ant Matrix and a uh, Overclock, and they're going to look to re-engage. Amp comes out here, Zamba looking, just going after Z there, but they're going to be able to keep themselves alive there. Cart less than three meters away, not going to be C9 there as you do see Zebra come right back down to Earth. The beat coming out here from Magic Mayfall, just trying to get whatever they can. Zero going to try to find one, they do there. Suga though making sure that they find Magic Mayfall there, but it doesn't matter as YSL gets the first point. Three minutes on the clock, YSL had to throw a lot into that, but you had to make sure to keep your, you know, your hopes alive in this tournament as you mentioned it's going to be tough because they're going to have to win a lot of consecutive fights in a row to bring this home as uh kai has now swapped over to the brig no more mercy and sugu now back on that famous sojourn we've seen him play throughout this series
Yeah, the pharmacy combo is out, sent back uh, to the to the, the spawns here for the moment. But I mean, yeah, Sugu back on the soldier, and we saw them just dominate the first couple maps on it, and a little bit on Suravasa. But there was a turn there, and I feel like Azrev, especially getting this kill on the Sombra, they've started to kind of make sure that they're known as a good soldier and player as well. As this is pretty much final fight territory for Bonsai, you're going to have a Nano to throw into this fight, but Wallflower can open things up. Has a Pulse Bomb, can he make this a 3-2 series? Wallflower going to desperately look for those two supports in that back line. The Nano coming out here onto Sugu, trying to do whatever they can. A huge anti there onto Infected, can be able to keep themselves alive there, but you do lose Z, Azrov, and now Infected all being taken out. YSL either at this point get out of the fight or just head back to spawn. Yeah, you, you head back to spawn if you're a YSL. You have built up to a lot of ultimates coming to this next fight, especially if you get aggressive here. Because the, the thing is, I feel like you want to get aggressive, win this fight before Kai can build up to the rally. Because you're going to have a Flux, you're going to have an Ant Matrix. Uh, Wallflower is going to go over to the May now, uh, which is going to make Zebra drop that much harder, especially in the close quarters area of the map that we're in right now. And you see Zebra just trying to jump over walls there, trying to disrupt what YSL wants to do. Pulse Bomb comes out, it's already gone, the Flux comes out from Infected, hits three, but not able to find any kills there. Otters, Sugu, out! This is what YSL needs here! They find Kai as well! This might be all they wrote for this map. You do see Zamba just kind of lurking there in the back line, but the Ice Wall comes out, making sure they don't come back to the cart in time, and YSL keeping this series alive. Woo-wee, baby. 3-2-2. Two, two. An infected opening things up with a huge gravitic flux, putting so much pressure onto three members of Bonsai Buddies, and then they're able to do the cleanup, and that was all she wrote. We talked about on um, on um, on Suravasa. A lot of those ults were more zoning and weren't able to find as much value for the fluxes as Infected would have wanted. That's probably the flux of the series. Yeah, I mean, considering how many fluxes we saw come out and just kind of miss, that was exactly what they needed. Like you said, it might be the flux of the series, and it might be a point that we come back to later if YSL is able to come come back and completely reverse sweep uh, Bonzi buddies here to get this championship as a play that turned around this entire series. As I mentioned... Although you drop this map for Bonsai, going forward in the rest of the series, you're going to have every single map pick. Uh, they do have the next map pick, and we are going back to control since we've made a full cycle through, and Bonsai has elected to bring us to Lijong Tower to try and bring this home, which I think is a very smart decision. This is probably one of the, I mean, outside of Ilios, the next best Doomfist map you could have asked for. Yeah, I mean, and we saw what they were able to do on Ilios, but you have to give YSL a, a lot of credit. When they swapped over to the Sigma on Ruins, it kind of did almost stop that Doomfist comp a little bit, but then Sugu just kind of showed up and took over the map. I think the, this Doomfist comp is still going to be good on Lijon. It's not nearly going to be as good as Ilios just because it's so much more open, a lot more room to work with for the Doomfist. And the Sigma being able to be in more close quarters uh, can take advantage and really disrupt what Zebra's trying to do. But it's still very conducive to the Doomfist. So really, it's just going to be, you know, making sure these teams are playing well within their compositions. But my question is for YSL, we've seen them swap things up a lot. We've seen the swap on the May to the Tracer back and forth. We've seen Magic Maypal on the Lucio, on the Brig. I mean, we, for a period when they were on the Pharah, they were on the Ilari to help put pressure on the Pharah, but uh, it's mostly been Lucio or Brig. Control is known for being fast paced and Lucio has almost been like, you have to play Lucio on these control maps. So uh, it looks like they are going to go in that direction. They're gonna have Wallflower play the May for this point as we're starting on control center. Yeah, and on, like this was one thing I, I kind of learned from YSL when w watching the the losers finals from them is that they like to play the Sigma comp, but they don't like to play like the the staple Sigma comp where you have the May and a Bastion. They like to play it with the Soldier as well, or this the Soldier. And I feel like that's actually worked out a lot better for them. The Bastion is just a large target, and Bonzi would probably have an easy job, especially with Zamba on the Tracer, of just cleaning them up. Couldn't agree more as YSL has great positioning to start things up. Question is, how much value is Suguru going to be able to find with this fair? I mean, uh, Control Center can be a tough one to find it, and Z has found Zomba. 
Yeah, so that gets a little, a, rid of a lot of the backline pressure very early here for Bonzi. But again, you have Zebra right there, going to be able to try to make some noise in that backline, trying to find Zima. And you see him dive on a point just to make sure that YSL doesn't have a free point cap, but eventually they have to dive out. Azra, and Zoba's though. down again, coming back from spawn. Azra finds the rail shot as YSL has started to take this momentum they built on Shambali and is making good use of it. Zamba can just not play the game. I think YSL has just decided that at this moment, and it's working out really good for them right now, but, you know, Bonzi is just playing this smart. They want to have a, a full team dive here, and you do see the dive come out there from uh, Zebra, but Sugu going to be taken very low here, and Otter's going to be the first one taken out of this fight. Zebra now not going to be pocketed at all, has to try to fend for themselves. Magic Mateball going to make sure, again, Zamba not able to do anything this fight. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this Ana with the Mercy. It feels like Otters is kind of just a sitting duck. And if, you know, you're not positioned well, YSL can easily just speed onto you and take you out. Are they going to make any swaps? It doesn't look like it. Sugu's going to have the barrage coming into this fight uh, as we're approaching 50% already gained for YSL. Yeah, but still a lot of time for Bonzi to get in here. Like you said, they're coming up on a lot of ultimates while YSL, other than Z, kind of lagging behind Bonzi here. I mean, Sugu and Zama can have two deadly ultimates right now, but YSL did a good job avoiding the barrage last time, but infected, not even gonna let them get it off this time, but you will see the res come out. Yeah, but that's gonna be a lot of ult charge to try and go in the favor of YSL. Barrage comes out, it's not able to find anything. And Otter's already taken out again. Zebra kind of has to fend for their own here a little bit, or Kai has to focus in on them, but Infected gets taken low, gonna get healed up. This Pulse Bomb stick there on to Azrof. We'll take care of them here. And Bonzi, this is your opportunity. You got rid of one, you need to go now. And there's two Sound Bears gonna come out for Magic Mateball. Can YSL turn this fight around? I mean, the beat came out. In fact, I'm not going to use the Fluxio Wallflower. I'm not going to use the Blizzard as well. They just accepted that fight there, and they're just going to go back. But hey, 97 on the point. That's one team fight win is all YSL needs. Yeah, and you're going to be facing a Nano Doomfist, but YSL gets to come in. You have a Blizzard, a Flux, and uh, Overclock to work with. YSL has the tools to be able to push in and take this first point and continue to build the momentum that they have been working on and try and force a map number seven. And Zamba looking for it here. The Flux coming out, or the Overclock coming out here from Azeroth. Wallflower will find Zebra there, so no Meteor Strike available now. Sugu, though, does pop the Raj. Will find two with it, but Wallflower takes them out right back. YSL, in all that mess there, able to retake the point. Now Zamba just trying to do their best here to hold on to it. Wallflower going to find Kai there, who looks like they were just jumping off the map anyway. But right now, it's these last two members of Bonzi here just trying to do whatever they can. Otters, again, taken out here. Wallflower, again, just trying to clean up Zamba and Zebra infected there as well. Now it's the entire of YSL, the Blizzard coming out, but Z-Man oh, goes a little bit too far. Wallflower finds Suguru and YSL, one point away from forcing a map seven. Yeah, and unfortunately for Zamba goes down in that fight without being able to throw in that pulse bomb. As you know, that's the look of the RNG when it comes for YSL. That was going to be the best map for the Sigma rush style. And you know, this map is going to be the best map for the Doomfist composition. So this is Bonsai's opportunity to tie this up, go to a point number three and look to send YSL home and their chances of coming back in this series. For YSL, it's going to be about keeping your space, giving Infected and Azrath the chances they need to find the damage and look for those rail shots for Azrath. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Azrath, like we kind of mentioned, has kind of taken over the series ever since the Esperanza map, and I feel like it's been something that they really needed to have happen. Just one player kind of kind of go in. Magic Mateball going to be able to keep themselves alive here. Suru trying to force them out a little bit here. Infected now trying to hit the accretion there onto Zebra. Get some low. They have to get themselves out of this fight, though. But Bonzi, looking like they just want to try to get on point and stay there. As again, this is great positioning for YSL to be able to take question is can they capitalize and wallflowers down? And that gets rid of the ice wall there. That's huge for YSL to find out, or for Bonzi. Now the accretion though, gonna hit Zamba there, but it's immediately traded out as Z falls, Magic Mate Ball falls as well, and that will be the rest of YSL falling right after that.
I mean, very well played from Bonsai. As we talked about, the much more open area is going to allow Zebra to be able to pop off that much more and have so much more room to work with. As Infected is going to go over to the Orisa. Uh, I mean, I kind of like that, especially if you can make this a full-on brawl on the point. I think that's what they're going to have to do is look to bunker down on the point and try and uh, just affect Zebra as he dives in. Yeah, but Zamba again, we talked about them not being able to play last map. Now at this point, it's Wallflower not being able to play here as Bonzi Blade just finding the early picks they need to right now. Look what this does to YSL. They're forced to fall back. Yeah, completely out of their control if you're YSL. You just can't allow your players to continue to get picked early in this fight and they found Sugu. And they find Zamba right after that. The Kitsune Rush coming out here from Otters a little bit too late to save their two DPS characters. But hey, you do find Wallflower right after that. And now Kai gets taken out. Otters taken out there. And now it's just up to Zebra. But hey, that was a losing fight from the start. YSL retake or takes the point at 47% there for Bonzi though. And no ultimate commit needed for YSL, which is going to be big. And that Kitsune Rush was thrown in from Otters. So momentum shifts back in the favor of YSL. But Bonsai is known for being able to find early and quick fights uh, picks in the fights. So you got to be very careful if you're YSL, despite having the ult advantage. And you see Zamba here just kind of lurking around, looking for that pulse bomb stick. Maybe onto Infected, maybe onto someone like Z-Man. Try to get out some utility early for them here. But they're again just in the back line. Pulse bomb comes out, doesn't get the stick. And I don't think really anything comes out there for anyone for YSL. But it's Azra finding Kai. So no beat going to be available here for Bonzi. Zebra going to use the, the meteor strike here. Now the blade and the blizzard coming out here for YSL. Bonzi though, the blade not going to be able to do what they wanted to do this time as that blade has kind of gone dull lately for Suguru. But now again, YSL able to use some ultimates there and just hold on to the point. Yeah, not a whole lot you can do when there's a sound barrier and a blizzard zoning you off as the sound barrier engaged for Kai that comes out. Terra Surge coming out here from Infected, not going to be able to do anything but get rid of those shields that Kai provide them. Infected will find Kai, but again, you're down two teammates already. Make it three. If you're YSL, you're probably just trying to hold on to this point as long as you can at this moment. Yeah, just get, gaining as much percentage as you can. You're going to get a nice round, like 73%. Uh, and... I mean, Bonsai, it cost them that sound bear, but that sound bear engaged exactly what they needed, provided that overshield to allow them to get aggressive and find those picks. YSL will be able to rotate and engage in this next fight. The, the, the good thing is you have an ant matrix, so Bonsai will not be able to be as bold as they would like trying to push this, uh, this agenda of going after this back line. Zamba again looking for that pulse bomb stick. Magic Maple taking out Suguru though. Traded out the Katsuna Rush coming out here from Otters. It's responded with the Ant Mages here from Z. And you're just seeing the kills all go Bonzi's way. Infected though will find Zebra, but the fight pretty much already lost here for YSL. Yeah, fight is over as things are now looking so good for Bonsai. You're going to have so many ultimates coming in this next fight. YSL should be able to get a touch, but it's looking rough. They have to hope and pray Wallflower can somehow build up to this blizzard fast enough and make something happen. Someone just needs a touch here. It's going to probably be up the magic. Mate ball. Infected go. Going to get there. Make sure we force an overtime. You see the two ultimates. About to be three ultimates ready for Bonzi right now. Zamba still holding on that pulse bomb. Looking to find someone. Not going to be able to find uh, as rough there. And that's a huge one out. Now the meteor strike comes out here from Zebra. Just trying to keep himself up uh, alive and find some damage out. The blizzard though comes out here from Wallflower. Going to be able to find Zebra there. That's a huge pickoff here for YSL. The beat coming out. Now the blade for Sugu. Can they sharpen it up this time? No, but it will do a lot of damage there to Infected. Wallflower will find Otters, so really no supports other than the Lucio on the point right now for Bonzi. Zamba doing whatever they can, gets rid of the tank there, and Zebra will be able to get back in time, but oh! No one for YSL touches, and as you see Magic Maple in the chat, it's a C9. <laughs> Very unfortunate as I don't think that had been decided who was going to ultimately win that fight. Now we come down to the final point, which is Night Market, which to me, this is very like touch and go on how well the Doomfist composition is going to do here. Uh, it has its room to work with, like in the areas when you're trying to engage in fights. But if it goes to the point and makes the Doomfist composition a little bit harder to find the value. Uh, but I mean... Bonsai has shown even in situations where the Doomfist hasn't worked out, they can force it and just do wonders with it. As in fact, it's going to continue to play this Arissa. 
And I feel like we're going to see a completely different YSL team here this map. I mean, they lose it. Series is over. They need to win this to force a map seven here. So we might see some desperation picks come out at certain points of this map here for YSL. Couldn't agree with you more as the aggression coming in from both sides on these Lucios as Azref's already down. Yeah, but you see Sugu very low as well. Wallflower going to trade that one out there. So already one DPS down for both sides. But at the moment, YSL just kind of holding on to the point here, trying to bunker in on it. You see everyone for Bonsai coming right back in, trying to focus in on Infected. But they're getting forced off. The Orisa doing its job. Yeah, as the Orisa has a lot of beefiness and health, it's really tough for this Doomfist composition unless Zebra, Zomba, and Sugu are all on the same page. And it felt like they got a little bit separated trying to isolate their own targets. If they want to make this work against this more beefier composition, they have to all be on the same page. Great start for YSL. Yeah, and YSL, can I have a beat ready to go this fight? I mean, that's going to be huge for them just to sustain through Bonzi if they get very aggressive, especially with Zama about to have the Pulse Bomb. And now you see Suguru going to make the swap over to the Sojin, just going to give up on that Genji. It's a nice punch coming in from Zebra, but it's not able to find any kills. And Azra could be able to find Zamba there. Sugu needs to make a name for this stuff here on this soldier again, because now Azra starting to take over it for the series. Mateball gonna be able to find Zebra there, and you just see the rest of Bonzi trying to get out, but Azra gets shut down by Suguru there. Magic Mateball, though, will make sure they get the trade. Yeah, it's not going to really matter. Azrof's going to be able to come back into this fight pretty quickly as both teams are going to have an extraordinary amount of ultimates coming into this fight. But because YSL has just been biding their time being patient and defensive, they uh, Azrof is kind of behind in the overclock ult charge. Kasuna comes out here from Otters, but Z uses that ant magic to perfection. It kind of stops Bonzi in their place. Meteor Strike coming out here from Zebra, probably onto that backline, trying to disrupt it. Magic, get him to pop the beat. Here comes the Terror Surge from Infected, not going to be able to find anyone. Does force out the beat from Kai. Now the Blizzard coming out here from Wallflower. Does freeze Sugu there. Make sure they get off the map. Zamba, though, going to trade out Azra there. So no soldiers for either team at the moment. Zebra diving into that backline has to get themselves out with a punch. The Suzu already being used here by Otters. Now you might see YSL get a little bit aggressive here, but they're just going to hold back play point Zamba. Trying to focus down magic mateball they're gonna be able to find z-man though as mateball fell right before them here again this might be a fight here where ysl is not gonna win it they're just trying to hold on yeah as you're just trying to buy as much percentage as you can because you get it into a spot where all you have to do is win one more fight and you will be forcing a map number seven so he's got to bide your time be patient build up to some of these ultimates as rough would be coming up on the overclock try and force out this overclock from sugu like if you get aggressive be on point and force it out even if you lose the fight i think it's going to be a good spot if you're ysl and Sugu, they have the overclock ready to go. We've seen what they've been able to do with, do with them in the past. This is another time here where they need to just find a lot of value with it, but they're already being forced to slide back. Yeah, so much pressure being put on them, but the heals are coming through as it looks like YSL is trying to rotate towards them and find it, but Zebra is trying not to allow them to do that. Terror, our overclock comes out here from Sugu. Kai finds Wall. Sugu finds two with the overclock. Make it three. This is exactly what they need to do here. Make it four. They have put their name back on the map with that play right there. And this is kind of the situation you wanted for YSL. Be patient. Force out ultimates from Bonsai and don't use any. They're able to force out both the overclock and the Kitsune rush there. So they put themselves in a good spot as they're getting really close to a lot of these ultimates. And they'll be able to use them to try and net them a map win. And right now, though, th this is kind of getting desperate in my opinion right now. If you let Bonzi here win another team fight, it might be hard for them to get anything going. Terra Surge coming out here, going to be paired with the Overclock from Azra up here. But they're just playing for points set. Pulse Bomb comes out here for Zamba, not going to find anyone. They have to recall themselves to keep themselves alive. Z Zebra dives in. Azra takes care of Zamba there. Now the, the Meteor Strike coming out there from Zebra, but the point flips. Wallflower finds Kai. Zebra that will find Mayfall. Azra finds Otters. Someone needs to dive back in fast, but a huge play there by Infected. And Zebra, though, able to get one touch there to keep alive. They get taken out, though, but I don't think anyone will be able to get back. And YSL has done it. They forced a map seven. Ooh, what a series coming out from both of these teams. This is what we thought we would get out of the NAPC Open Tier Grand Finals. Both of us predated a 4-3, and we are going to get exactly that as YSL was on the brink of elimination, down 3-1, to one, and now has clawed and fought their way back. And now we are tied 3-3, three to three, headed into map number 7. And remember what I said after Saravasa, YSL, I think they just needed to have one map win, build up that momentum, 
and I felt like we would see a completely different team. And I feel like since then, they have been that completely different team. They've looked completely different than what we saw in those first two maps. Bonzi, though, they've kind of looked the same throughout. They've There's nothing wrong with how they've been playing. They've been playing great, but YSL has turned it up to another level here. And Bonzi, they've been able to respond sometimes. But when it gets very, very close in these scrappy fights like we saw at the at the, at the the end of point one and point three there on Li Zhang, YSL is just able to pull it out. Yeah, so we are now all coming down to one final map. It is three to three. YSL has found their way back into the series. Who is going to be the grand champions of the NAPC Open Tier? You are not going to want to miss the conclusion of the series. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. <music>
One map to decide it all here in the NAPC Open Tier. YSL has been able to come back and force a map 7. Ray, we both thought would go 7. I don't think neither of us expected we'd be going to a map 7 the way we have. Yeah, both teams have fought so hard. Every map has come down to the wire. The final map pick goes for Bonsai Buddies, and it all comes down to New Body. And I think it's poetic, given that they have loved to play this Doomfist composition, to finish off on a hybrid map that is all about the dive. Yeah, absolutely. Like when when I heard that we were going, when I saw that we were going into a hybrid a hybrid map. I honestly just assumed, okay, we're going to be going to King's Row, but no. Once they picked Numbani, it all came to me. This makes perfect sense for them. Zebra has not gone off the Doomfist once. This is the perfect map for them. YSL, though, they've shown us three times they can beat it. They need to do it one more time, though. Um, <clears throat> That they do as we load up into the final map, the final location that will decide who is going to be the NAPC Open Tier champs. Will the momentum that we have seen built up from YSL over the past two maps come through strong or will Bonsai finally get it together and say, we've had enough, we're going to be the champs. We're about to find out soon as we see both teams locking in the comps we've known them so well for. YSL the Sigma, Bonsai the Doom. We're not going to talk about Suguru, I, I, I imagine. Um, no. I think they're going to see if anyone's playing close to take a shot and yet. Yeah. Oh, they're going to go over to the Hanzo, though. I'm excited for this. YSL's going to have to be careful. Hanzo provides that ability to just snipe your head and have that one-shot potential. Yeah, and I truly don't think that YSL is going to really expect this. They're not going to know about it until they see Sugu come through. And again, Zebra just able to move around so freely on this Doomfist. Get, able to get up there, get a punch. And now, again, just playing point. You do see, I believe it's Wallflower come down there to contest. But again, they just dive up there, get a cute, some damage, and then dive right back down. As point pressure in the favor of Bonsai, they're going to attack the high ground now. Can they look to find picks as they have yet to give up the tick, which is actually surprising. I thought they would have, you know, given up the tick to elect to have really good positioning. But you have to give a lot of credit to Wallflower for the reason that the tick has not been capped yet. And Azra finding Zebra there, and look at what that does to Bonzi. They completely have to fall back knowing their main source of pressure is out. Yeah, this is where things are tough for Zebra on the Doomfist. Having to try and dislodge some of the people off the high ground, especially when you could be running into <laughs> Infected, who has the Accretion Rock available. I think a lot could rely on Suguru trying to find a pickoff early in this fight and set into a 5v on this point. And exactly you talked about it there, Sugu finding Wallflower out. Otters will immediately turn that into a kill on Azrof as well. And now Bonzi maybe already looking like they want to cap this point here and now. One tick already, but you see Infected far away from the rest of their team. Eventually going to have to come down and contest. Yeah, as it's going to force the Kinetic Grasp out and the Antony comes out and the Lamp's not able to save him. The, Immer the Ant Matrix being invested here by Z. They will find Zebra, but they need to find some more Pulse Bomb coming out there from Wallflower. We're not finding anyone as I think it's stuck on a Kai shield there, but they're doing a good job of just contesting the, the point at this point right now. Rally does come out here from Kai, and that will eventually get them the point cap, but I feel like they are just kind of stalling out there, waiting for Infected to come back, but it comes back to bite them. Yeah, and you only force Bonsai to use one of their ultimates, so uh, not the best kind of recontest there that you took from YSL. But they did waste a lot of time off the clock, but now the momentum's building for Bonsai. They should be able to take the ultimates. The one good thing is because you're on the Hanzo for Sugu, the Dragons, it's not as valuable as, say, like an overclock, right, where you can find pick after pick. It's more of a zoning ult for these Dragons. Why well, I say that, they get a pick. Yeah, with those dragons, and now, again, you're just seeing Bonzi here forced back YSL. Yeah, I mean, you can't afford to push into that fight in a 4v5, so YSL's just looking to play back. Look for something, and now the Nano engage! 
they do find Z-Man there while Magic Mayfall is, is off doing his own mission. Uh, very confused on what's going on here as the rest of YSL is just falling by the hands of Bonzi. Yeah, as you're going to just have to completely reset. You're only going to get one more attempt at this defense for point B if you're YSL. You're going to have a lot of ultimates to commit into this fight as Bonsai has had to use a lot to gain a lot of this distance. Yeah, but yeah, like you said, they have ultimates here. You're going to see the touch come out here from Wallflower just to try to contest it. YSL going to re-engage. They need to win a fight here. Get rid of Zebra early. Get rid of Sugu. The rally coming out here from Magic Mayfall. Oh, the C9! Coming out here from Zebra. Oh, they... <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, Wallflower gets the kill. They're on the Kai, but like you said, Ray, they stayed C9. They had the ultimates to keep holding that too. That is such an unfortunate miscommunication coming out from YSL. Now Bonsai looking to capitalize, pushing aggressively around this corner is Zebra. And I like to talk about mistakes, how they change games, they change series. That one mistake right there might be a championship losing mistake, but YSL, they've been able to hold and stop Bonze before. They need to do it again here. Pulse Bomb comes out, whiffs on Z, who jumped up in the air, but Azrup, they want to make sure that they are able to turn a fight around, find one. Wallflower will find Otters there, but the Railgun shots is doing a lot of damage. They should be able to pick up at least one more kill here. Yeah, as it, I, I think that's Kai that's trapped in that room, but they're not willing to commit, especially with the closer spawns. Uh, Sugu over onto the Genji now off of that Hanzo. So uh, it's a lot more danger to this dive for YSL. Uh, but uh, sorry, the, the screen was totally paused for me. Um, yeah. it, it's a lot more dangerous, especially with this nano that Otters is going to be able to throw when you can try and help one of these DPS build up to an ultimate. Great shield there by Infected to make sure the anti nade does not hit anyone on them. And that does slow Bonzi here a little bit down, but they do have a, the Nano and the Rally ready to go here. YSL, they're doing a good job of eating away some clock here, but the Nano now come out onto Zebra. They immediately find Z in the back line and Azrup as well. Oh, it's just a slaughter at this point. Pulse Bomb comes out from Wallflower, does not find anyone there. Infected eventually gets taken out, and now, again, it's just Wallflower trying to eat away some clock. Yeah, being able to get both the Nano and the Rally out of Bonsai is going to be a big deal for YSL. However, they used a lot of ultimates in that fight. Z-Man will be able to come back with this uh, Ant Matrix to be able to use. So uh, that's going to be a danger that Bonsai has to be aware of and ready to uh, at least get out of dodge once that pops up. Yeah, but right now, I mean, you're seeing them be very aggressive. And uh, honestly, with Zamba doing that play right there, you're really looking for Z to maybe throw out that immortality field and expecting the pulse bomb, but does not come out. But Bonzi still holding on to three ultimates right now. Z still the only one with an ultimate right here for YSL, but they do find Zebra out early. A huge pickoff for them there. We saw what happened last time they lost Zebra. Bonzi completely fell back and looks like that's the same plan this time. Two minutes left on the clock for Y. SL to try and defend. They have definitely found their footing on this defense. The question is, can they continue to snowball? Bonsai is going to have so many key ultimates coming to this next fight, but YSL has the tools. They pop the rally early, early enough, get this overheld. Z-Man holds on to the immortality field long enough. I, I think they can negate this blade from Sugu. And we saw recently, uh, earlier in the series, a lot of value found out of these blades, but since Shambali, the blades have not been as effective. Yeah, absolutely, but and they might be waiting for the nano from Otters. That's when they found a lot of value. Ooh! Azrub with a nice railgun shot. Make sure the pulse bomb will not be invested this fight. So it's going to be held onto here for a little bit longer. And look what that does to Bonsai. They decide just to fall back. The pulse bomb is their entry tool. That it is, but there are going to be able to engage in this next fight with the nano blade lots of ultimates coming on for both of these teams as we approach the final minute on this attack for bonsai about to be nine ultimates on the board could be 10 this could be every ultimate thrown at the kitchen sink here coming up with it being the time running low you do see the dive come in the nano blade coming out here from suguru rally coming out here from magic maple suguru will find one the pulse bomb or the stun there coming out from magic maple make sure they don't die there suguru though very low on health kai will find infected as everyone was in the back just trying to keep themselves alive bonzi with a huge opportunity here they're gonna be able to do it i think i don't think they're gonna allow why come back no the the amount of pressure they're able to put onto the side of ysl was absolutely insane into that room bonsai clutches up in the 
time when they needed to in that final fight, and they're able to cap with time on the clock, which puts a lot of pressure onto the backs of YSL. The only good thing you have going forward is because they didn't finish with over a minute on the clock, if you're YSL, you just have to make sure you finish this map. But the line is now drawn in the sand for Bonsai. You want to walk out of here, the NAPC open tier champs, you stop YSL from completing this map. YSL, it's not so clear yet. You just know you have to finish this map and then we're heading into extras. And there's one thing that you have to really consider here, 22 seconds. YSL was looking like they were going to be able to win that team fight where the C9 happened. I think that's the difference at the moment. That 22 seconds, yeah, you know, stu different stuff will happen based off different things happening. But I mean, that they would have won that team fight there. It would have taken Bonzi to come back uh, at least 30 seconds to come back in. So that right now is the main difference. YSL, though. I feel like they they looked good after they let that C9 happen, but still, they allowed Bonzi to to finish the map. Yeah, one has to think what might have changed if YSL was able to keep that touch on point B. As we now move into the defense for Bonza, we have Sugu who's going to go over to this Echo. And I think the defensive Echo is going to be extremely powerful, especially going against this more slower comp that YSL. I, I mean, not slower, like a uh, more chunkier composition, being able to have that focusing beam to finish these targets off as YSL is going to try and go to the high ground and take this away. Yeah, but Sugu does not have the mercy to pocket them this time, but it doesn't matter as they find Z out early and YSL going to have to fall back on that. And they're not going to engage without their bat. Yeah, with the Life Weaver on a combination from Bonsai, I mean, it's going to be a lot of heals available. And because of the amount of heals that Kai can throw in, uh, because you're playing Life Weaver, it's going to allow Otters to look for extremely aggressive nades. You're not going to have to save them to use for healing on your team. The nade comes out, does hit two people there. You do see the pressure coming out, but they're able to survive the nade. And now this is their opportunity to go. You do see the life grabs there. It gets Otters out of that area. The ice wall comes to make sure they can't get enough healing there. But again, Sugu going to be able to get rid of the immortality field for Z right now. And YSL, they're trying to play for point, but right now they're trying to find an early pick to give them some advantage. Sugu going to be able just to get that health pack there. And Zamba takes care of Z again. YSL, though, committed to this fight already. They're going to have to commit to it again without either of their supports here. While Wallflower will find Zamba, but that might be all that they get this fight. Yeah, as things are looking rough, they're not able to easily take this high ground. Bonsai is playing so well, having Otters play the corner, look for antinades constantly. And as soon as the antinade goes off, Zebra's in there punching. And if they're even able to push through like they were in that last fight, Suguru is there with the sticky bombs and just laying down so much damage. Infected, now going to go over to the Arissa. But is this going to be enough as Azrif oh. goes down? That is not what you wanted to see. And one thing, Azruf, they have been doing so well for their team this, their past couple maps. They're only at 36% on their ultimate charge. They have been completely shut down so far this round. That they have two minutes left on the clock for YSL to cap this point and keep their hopes alive of being the grand final champions. You're going to be walking into a lot of ultimates from Bonsai. Uh, Pulse Bomb forces out the immortality field. YSL, they need to get something going here. The Amage is going to come out here, but a huge anti-nade hits 4-2. Ori taken out. It's the supports and the kills just all going their way. Infected will get one, but that's going to be all they got that round. And at this point, YSL, they need to go a different way. I don't know, Dexatron. It really feels like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. They're falling for this Otters on a nade trap every single time like you mentioned you gotta either you know find a way to limit the value or go a different way but they're gonna continue to take this high ground approach what is it when that what is it when you do it five times in a row here they need to have something go their their way this time the antinate only hits infected so they're gonna be able to survive that a little bit here but zamba gonna do a good job just pressuring out the back line the meteor strike coming out here from zebra who is now will not find any value there the beat coming out from magic mayfall as this is the fight that YSL so desperate needs they do find zamba to get everything going here zebra that will find azrof in the back line the, the 
Blizzard coming out there from Wallflower. Infected does shut down Otter, so it's up to Kai to keep the team supported right now, but they do use a Tree of Life to make sure that point is secure for the moment. YSL, again, they need to get something going here, but a huge punch sends Z flying off the map, and now Bonzi looking like they want to take control of the map, take control of the series, and take control of the championship. Yeah, 20 seconds left on the clock. You're going to have to back out of here if you're Waffle uh, Wallflower, but you're not able to, as this might just be it. infected now onto a desperation Doomfist. Magic Mateball should be able to get to the touch, but it is looking grim for YSL. They don't get the touch! They don't get the touch! And Azef, Azeroth dies as well! Bonzi Buddies gonna deny YSL the comeback they were so close to and be your NAPC Open tier champions! Woo! Bonsai! They hung in there, weathered the storm, and when the rubber needed to meet the road, they come through big time on the map pick, and I think that's what it came down to. I said at the beginning of the series, because of these contrasting compositions that these two teams were playing, that this could come down to map picks. And Bonsai had the last map pick. They're able to take it to Numbani. Very favorable for the Doomfist, and they're able to take full advantage and they are your NA PC open tier grand champions. Yeah, absolutely. Taking a to Bonnie was the ultimate pick there from them. Like I said, I thought we would see King's Row because we saw Lee Jong Tower, but no, they brought us to Numbani and they played the comp they played throughout the series. I mean YSL, you, you looked at the maps here. They Servos was a huge map for them. Then they lose Esperanza and their backs are against the wall. And like I was kind of mentioning throughout this entire series, when YSL was against the wall, they really did play a lot differently. And we finally saw, in my opinion, Bonzi buddies against the wall there on Numbani. And we saw a completely different team. And they just looked incredible. You have to give a lot of credit to the five players for them here. Sugu, Zamba, Zebra, Kai, and Otters. They did incredible throughout the series tonight. Couldn't agree with you more. So congratulations, Bonsai. They are your NAPC Open Tier champions. They weathered the storm and played incredibly well. We are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have an interview with Zomba from Bonsai Buddy. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
All right, welcome back, everyone, to the booth. We are pleased to be uh, we are pleased to have Zamba, the DPS player there from Bonzi Buddies, as our interview for this tonight. Zamba, hey, congrats on the win, man! Hell of a series. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Couldn't have done it without otters. <laughs> Yeah, that that final map otters was absolutely insane. I'm sitting here like it felt like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Like what are they doing? Continuing to fall for this nade time and time again. Uh, but focusing a little bit more on the series in general. I mean, you guys were up three to one, and this ends up going the full distance to seven maps. How are you guys feeling going into this final map with all the momentum that YSL had built up? Uh, I don't know. We weren't like that nervous. We just we just wanted to close it out. It was it was just a, another day. But their um their momentum was definitely scary because but we we knew we could definitely win because the maps were closed. Yeah, I felt like every map came down to the wire, and I think that was just a beautiful, well-picked final map uh, that Doomfist Compass you guys were playing just boded so well to um to uh to numbani so well uh just talking more about this doomfist composition uh what made you guys really zoom in on this kind of composition and just be like you know what i don't care what map it is we may change up you know slight variations to it but we will run doomfist well i mean it mainly just comes down to to zebra he's our our doom one trick gimmick player so <laughs> we, we just play around him Yeah, absolutely, man. You already gave a quick shout out to Otters, but is there anyone else that you want to give a shout out to before we send you back to celebrate with your team? Uh, I think I have to shout out Shugureru and Gorilla from Gilbert's family. They were truly inspirational, especially Gorilla. He he was our he was our team mascot. <laughs> awesome well thank you so much zomba for joining us on the desk and congratulations on being the napc open tier grand champions and we'll see you later go celebrate with your team thank you see you guys all right ray that was zomba they had an incredible performance throughout the night you have to give ysl a lot of credit as well they made it very interesting but at the end of the day one team had to come out on top and it was bonsai buddies yeah so we'll go ahead and give you guys one last look at the bracket and how things ended up going in our predictions i mean yeah i mean it was you know slightly you know pretty much in favor of ysl but i mean we were pretty I mean, at least I was honest. I said 4-3 YSL. I mean, I knew that was going to go either way. You also had a 4-3, and uh, pretty sure you went with YSL as well. I did, and I feel so bad now that we cast a curse to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it is what it is. I knew this was going to be a mm -hmm. high-octane, very close series, and that is exactly what we got as we take one final look at this amazing bracket. Most competitive, most teams in this uh, division. So uh, very surreal to be seeing the end of what was a awesome division yeah absolutely i mean this entire season has been crazy uh, across every division but napc open tier specifically i mean you look at the teams that are here a lot of great teams a lot of great players and i feel like though at the end of the day we got the best two teams in the grand finals and it went the distance i mean it went the distance in the winner's final it just it's so hard to put into words but this was such an incredible series ray couldn't agree with you more and before we go ahead and close things out here on the desk i like to highlight we have two grand finals remaining for this season of cgl tomorrow we will be having the na console open tier grand finals blue team versus short bus that will be tomorrow tuesday at 6 p.m est and the final uh grand finals available will be the na diamond grand finals universe versus no peel game that will be wednesday at 8 p.m est so make sure you guys tune into all of that uh but 
as we get to close things out, I'd like to thank Dexatron for casting with me and everyone behind the scenes who was helping produce. We had Hippie, our amazing producer. We had Kazix. We had uh, Mara and Little Joe and Pluto all providing you the amazing observing we saw from this series. And I'd like to thank all of you guys. We had such a lively, amazing Twitch chat and you guys were just so engaged and so enthralled in the series. But with that, I've been Two Try Hard Ray joined by Dexatron and we'll see you on another broadcast.